We are MCDM Productions. We play D&D. We are Motorhead! And we play rock and roll! Hello, Lord. Welcome to the show. Uh, when last we left our heroes, the chain of Akron had just arrived in capital, the greatest city in this or any age. At least that's what their <coughs> propagandists say. And had gone through customs. I do not agree with this assessment. Well, what would what would Slim say was the greatest city in this or any age? That's a good question. <laughs> he would say it's uh, his his home city, built on the corpse of a dead god. That's pretty dope. Yeah, <laughs> it's a nice city, but it's not built on. Uh, <laughs> And having gone through customs, you folks uh, spent some time on the promenade where you saw a bunch of crazy stuff and met a bunch of people, including a reporter who talked to you. And <laughs> this was a perfectly, perfectly normal, everyday, mild mannered reporter. Ahem, and, uh, and then uh, some kids stole your book. Uh, you chased them across the, this part of the city. You're on an island called the Stays. And after a somewhat uh, a surprisingly long and drawn-out battle in which they proved to be a little bit tougher than they might otherwise seem, captured one of them and recovered your book. Boom. Done. So, mm. now what? Tell us everything you know. We'll pull your legs off. <laughs> uh, right to it. Yeah, for those of you, for those of you who weren't here, Five minutes ago before the stream went live, and not really, how could you be? You're not to blame. Uh, Anna was suggesting that you could just often make them. He can't be charmed. They're immune to charm. They're constructs, so they're immune to being charmed, but they're not immune to getting their legs pulled off. These guys kicked my ass last time, so <laughs> yeah. I'm all for the yeah, leg pulling. Still, so, to set up? the scene, you guys are in an, a dead end alleyway, somewhere in the middle of um, still, pro still probably the promenade. And you have a captive. You have one member of they call they call themselves the at one point for the spring when they knocked one of you guys down. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they look like they're like I think probably like nine. They look like they're like nine year olds. Oh, they don't even look mm -hmm. like they're teenagers. No, I think I describe. I, I imagine them being a certain height, and I think they are too short to be. Mm. They look like they look like they're. They look like street urchins. So we just kicked the shit out of a bunch of little kids. kids. Well, we also got our shit beat up. Yeah, oh, they're yeah. fucking robots. These I are don't... not little kids. It's just to, it's just to trick you into taking pity on them. Uh, the the one you have captured says I p p p p p prefer the term makeshift boy 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 boy, <laughs> and then he looks it looks confused. Scrambled his circuits. Yeah, F flaw in my in my counter rotating expression algorithm rhythm. Thum, thum. <laughs> Yes, this well, cool. There's going to be some flaws in and you can a see lot more of your algorithms if you don't uh, start, start. What do you want to know? Why would you steal my diary? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't keep the I don't, don't get to keep the book, 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 book. Yeah, but why'd you want it? Oh, grandmother told us to it, 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 it. Who's grandmother? Oh, she's the person that made me. Is there like, Geppetto? um... Hey, are you an alien? <laughs> Geppetto? <laughs> you uh, look like an alien. I'm behind him. I've got him in, in, hey, in a are you like? Are you like, oh. are you like <clears throat> in a chokehold? Well, remember, like, we, we when we ended, I basically Slim had grappled him, and he gave up. And okay. I think he's still, he's still, like, holding him. We don't want him yeah. to slip away. Wow. Looking at Judge. Uh, <laughs> so, um... You're a tiefling. I am. Uh, Judge is going to inspect the Robo Boy. What's it called again? A make? Made boy? Make he sure. said that Made he performed the term makeshift boy. Make yeah, okay, boy. whatever. So <laughs> he's uh, judge is gonna inspect the outer parts, looking for like a brand of some kind. Mm -hmm. Like a like a make like a maker's mark, essentially. Yeah, yeah, there is one. Yes. And what does it look like? It looks like a uh, it looks like a the ins it's like a highly stylized <clears throat> gear with like a uh, what's called like a rasp, I think is what it's called an <clears throat> all. Which is a latch that causes it. Why did grandmother want the book? I don't know. Don't 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 know. I'm sure they'll find a way in somehow. Maybe they don't need 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 it. It it it. 
Where is grandmother? Oh, she wouldn't like it if I told you that. That, that, that. She probably don't like it that you didn't finish your job either. Well, nobody's per 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 perfect. Picked. <laughs> and you can see because you guys beat <clears throat> Sorry. the hell out of this kid. He's got bits missing. And you can see gears and, and uh, mechanisms and hydraulics kind of whirring away. <clears throat> Is you a, you're not a you're not a you're a tiefling, but you don't cruise, but you don't look like uh, I mean you look nice. I mean not like nice, not like you know, but wow, armor and really to get to get to get together. Yeah, well I had to earn this. Slim's gonna stick his finger in one of the holes and twiddle with the gear. Like like and when you do that, he repeats things that he said earlier. Oh. Just kind of randomly. <laughs> <laughs> How come he doesn't talk much? He seems angry. Actually, you all seem angry. <clears throat> like, especially, I mean, it's a, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a, I'm, I'm not, just, let me see. It's a highly, it's, <laughs> it's, oh, it's a gear. It's a gear with a little, uh, okay, we oh. seem back. We're back. We're back. That <laughs> no, was, not the, most, no, was not the most confident. <laughs> like, like one of those kind of things, right? Yeah, basically. Mm. Ah. Except the, the hooking thing is a crane. Really long thing. A crane head, a bird head. Mm. It's not a bird head, but all right. <laughs> well, wanna, give me a moment. Uh, a maid boy. Anyway, Bad boy. so I have no idea what, if anything, people heard of the last. Oh, most of it. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, we heard most of it. Uh, oh, until I said we had no. Uh, ah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me now? Can you... Now it's. A... How about now? Anyway. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. But where were we? Before we were so rudely interrupted. You said we're all angry? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I'm just reading this book here. And he, he shrugged whenever we said, but doesn't that make you angry? Yeah, read okay. Right. You can't read them. I know, but You're I'm just pretending. looking at all the nice pictures I've grown. Yeah, yeah, thank you for the... Yeah. He's a construct. He if we, if we yeah. wanted to have a word with uh, your grandmother, I'm sure she's delightful, uh, how would we be able to uh, get in contact with her? You seem nice. He is the nice one. You should listen to him, really. Yeah. You listen to her, and listen to me. I, yeah. Believe, believe in me. I don't, don't, in don't, don't, don't think grandmother would like to talk to you. Well, she wants something of ours, doesn't you. she? She did, 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 but she doesn't want it anymore. He shrugs. What you're a lot, you're a lot tougher than we thought. Th th thought. You guys are pretty tough too. What Thanks. happens if you go back to grandmother empty-handed? Oh, it won't be the fir 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 first time. Hmm. Yeah, I asked what happens. Is this just your job? Like, you just steal people for your grandma? Well, she she gives tells us stuff to do. I I, I like feeling useful, and we're good at it. Well, fair enough. Normally, people don't put up a fight. Hmm. I see. Well, how hard would it be to like tear this dude's head off? <clears throat> just like probably do it. I mean, it's it's not it's not incredibly well attached. In the first place, like mm -hmm. I, I should say, as a result of getting in a fight and getting the crap get out of it. I'm just yeah. wondering if, like, we just take the head. Do you think like, you can still does talk? It, does it still work? Ask him. <clears throat> if we rip your head off, can you still talk? No. <laughs> what about your arms and legs? Well, my timing crystal is it would have would still be intact. Is that like your soul? What's a s s soul? Mm -hmm. Timing crystal. That's interesting. Is the timing crystal exposed? Um, make a perception check. You'd probably get one off the busted bodies too. See oh, nothing. I'm too. You're, you're I'm, 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 I'm too interested in <laughs> <laughs> poking at the little gears and stuff to see see anything. Uh, his uh, body starts to shudder and. You see his face start to do that. You've seen it before. His face starts to do that thing where each what looked like solid skin turns out to just be little <clears throat> tessellations, little um, triangles mm. that all get they go like one after the other. They go Voom, and they flip around. And now he has the face of like a really really old woman. And you mm. hear this like his mouth opens, mm -hmm. and a voice comes out that's mm -hmm. not the voice he's been speaking with before. Okay, and this kind of cackling old woman. Uh, says, All right, enough of that, Benny. Let me drive. Is this grandma we're speaking to? <laughs> what 
did he tell you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. My apologies to the chain of Acheron. Made a bit of a mistake, I did. Don't think I'll be doing that again. And you can see this, it's it's like a small, because this guy's head, the, the size of his head hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. But now there's like a wizened old, like almost Yoda looking woman <laughs> in front of you. Uh, Does she look cute? Carry on with your business. I'll return the gentleman's money and leave you to the more senior guilds. Who's the gentleman? Mm. I'll be taking Benny if you don't mind. Ta! And then, and then, and then, like, the face just goes, like, dead. And the eyes go back to being uh, the guy you're talking to, his eyes. And his entire body goes limp. Can we take oh. out his timing crystal? Oh. <laughs> I mean, you could try. You could find it. You've got, a, as, as King said, you've got a bunch of dead bodies. But oh. now you've got what is effectively like a corpse. I want to try. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, you're able. I, I'm not even gonna like. There's there's no need to make a check. He's mm. uh, he's dead yeah. now. Yeah, you're able to rip the head off. I want to do invite him to come be a real boy and live with us. Uh, That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he want to be more useful to a whole bunch of people who actually care for him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we care about you. We want to rip off your legs. <laughs> <laughs> so just inspecting all the little parts and doodads inside. There's a lot. It's an incredibly complex <clears throat> mechanism. Mm. All right. It's very interested in how this thing's put together. So these dudes, they were just, based on that, they are just hired to get the... They are just created, I think, to run for granny, right? Yeah. And the grandma was hired. By someone else. By someone the else. Gentleman. Yeah. So somebody wants the Chronicle. They paid them to try and get it from us. And I guess probably they're figure, they probably figure yeah. if they can get the chronicle, then like they can make us do what they want, because that's leverage. Mm. Yeah. Could be. Could we, be. Do we have a duplicate chronicle, like mm -hmm. a dummy chronicle? No, we keep other copies. Maybe we should lock the yeah, chronicle up in the no, there's only tenebris. One. That's not true. Can we make a fake new one? Like so as far as I know, you've never said I'm going to spend some time and make a duplicate of the chronicle. Well, so we've got a few minutes now. probably. Like you would yeah. have to, you would, you would, unless you. It's how new people train to be the chronicler. If, uh, well, the, the problem is that you guys don't have, or you would need access to some kind of um, read language that spells because the chronicle goes back over a thousand years. Pretty sure I know comprehend languages. And, yeah, comprehend languages, I think, so is spoken. Is it all in one book? Well, it's supposed to be a big, thick tome. It's supposed to be like the model for it is supposed to be that. Um, it's like a bag of holding, but it's no, 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 no. It's not. Ma it's not magical like that. So it's, it's just, just huge. Why? Uh, if you remember Indiana Jones, like Raiders of the Lost Ark, yeah, yeah. that point where they get this huge book mm -hmm. and it's got that illustration mm -hmm. of the Ark of the Covenant, and it's that's what it's right. actually like. So one thing, it's still thousands of years. Like, yeah, well, got a lot of pages. Yeah. <clears throat> no, it's not that. It's just you know the pages are really thin. <laughs> so one thing that Granny has said was that. <clears throat> She was going to return the money to the gentleman and mm -hmm. leave us to the senior guilds, implying that the gentleman is from perhaps a le are they called lesser, lesser guilds? Well, no, no. I mean, like, well, she to... was she was hired right to, to get our shit, but she's too low level. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't imagine so the guilds are hiring up. She's going to give the dude his money back, oh, and I then see. he'll go hire somebody higher a senior. Up. He probably wanted to talk to us, and that's a good way to get us to go to him. There are lots of better ways to try and get our to attention. To get us to go to him. Mm -hmm. Not I really. mean, uh, the, the, I, I mean, like maybe I should provide some context. Like the, the Chronicle is um, a valuable book of lore. Like there's there's the, there's stuff in there that it contains like valuable knowledge for various types of researcher. Mm -hmm. The issue is that it's not always obvious what that information is mm -hmm. because the people writing it didn't know that this was going to turn out to be super valuable. Right. Like, oh, there was a great battle that we were involved in, and these guys lost. Mm. And there's someone at a university somewhere who's like, those guys that lost had this powerful artifact. And no one knows where that battle happened at. Right. But it's written in the Chronicle. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So even though the person who wrote that was like, well, I didn't. Like, when I wrote this, everybody knew about this. And it was no big deal. And even if you read it now, it wouldn't say, oh, there's this incredibly valuable artifact there. It just says, oh, these these guys lost this battle at this place. Just the fact and, that there's thousands of years yeah. is going to eventually... Yeah, there's, so, it's, so the, the Chronicle they're, they're, the chronicle is always like, there's a reason that it's so valuable. Uh, and it's kind of the soul of the company. And that other people want it. Okay. They're not usually willing to kill for it, but you Maybe never know. Maybe the 
Chronicle would be safe in the Somnium Tenebris. Yeah, is there any reason to carry it around? Like, uh, Write down the days. Uh, there are, yeah, but you can do that on any paper and transcribe it later. It's yeah, up to the it's up to the chronicler, but often yeah. it's it, because it has got so much uh, history in it. You can use it to make knowledge checks and be like, "Does does the chronicle say anything about this?" Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes the answer is, "Yeah." The other thing is that if there are little clockwork dudes running around that are able to, you know, put up a decent fight against us, there's certainly seafaring dudes of of equal. Yeah, but how are they going to get into the rooms? Break into the ship, you know. We had we had the changelings. I mean, there are things. Well, we, we also had a mind player hand that allowed us right. to get through the different doorways no to get to the navigator. Right? Right, but you well, guys, can, but, but you guys got onto the ship without any of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. They could. So yeah, they could. In fact, they're supposed to be right. Right now, your title is commander, but there's a title that is I'm the chronicler, right. and it gives you some special ability that I don't know what is yet. Hmm. Uh, I have some I have some vague ideas and I wrote some of them down and like I was like, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. But uh you're just not currently using it. So you could you could go store it on the Somnium Tenebris. We should probably store it in something secure, like <clears throat> I think to prevent it from scrying, we need like a bag of holding or something. Is that right? Like because it puts it in a separate dimension technically. You mean to prevent its location from being found? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, that's that's a good line of reasoning, but probably anybody who wants it is gonna assume that it's with you guys. The chain has it. so putting it in a box, putting it like putting it putting it in a even even if a bag of holding, mm -hmm. I don't think it does. Even if even if a bag of holding prevents it's crying, like they're just going to assume that you have the bag of holding. Mm. Like, hey, we can't, I can't, I can't sense it, but I'm probably I'm pretty sure one of the senior officers has it. So if we know where the senior officers are, we know where the we know where the chronicle is. Uh, so you could put it, you could store it somewhere else. You could you know put it in a bank, put it in a vault. I'm thinking of it this way: if we if we store it somewhere <laughs> else, it can get stolen. And it gets stolen. It gets without. stolen without our knowledge. Yep. If we keep it on us, anyone who wants to try and take the chronicle from us has to take the chronicle from us. Mm -hmm. True. And no, I agree. I just wouldn't hang it, up, hang it said, on your belt anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, hide it. <clears throat> Maybe Pick wrap pockets. it up tight and put it in your backpack or something. As the maid boy said, mm. I don't it's know. It's harder to take. Got all these little these are left over from something. It's a one of oh, these. that's right! It's from yeah. the boxes. So you're picking off pieces of microphone. Or <laughs> yeah, it I would like, be very much that. that would be on brand for me <laughs> yes. to just slowly be whittling away at these things idly. We buy them. I realize it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, okay. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So they're for the spring. All right. Well, we got the book back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now we know they are. Now we know higher. somebody wants what's it. What's your yeah. What's your health at? Boots? My health is fine. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> No one cares how many hit points I have. You have infinite. Infinite, yeah. You can just make up hit points. Correct. I have tons, not copy. Yeah. That <clears throat> That's spoken, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean you you could you could just copy the old um text, even though you can't read it. Mm -hmm. Like I, I can't read this, but I could try my best copying it. But when you do that, you get you're just a lot more prone to errors. Because there'll be some detail about the way the letters are formed that you're not going to notice, and you're not going to copy it over, and the meaning changes. Is there like a duplicate spell or something like that? It might be. Actually, I'm sure there is. Yeah. Whether or not it's in the player's handbook or not. Yeah. Just make a copy of it. Stash the copy someplace safe, just in case. Yeah. We could uh, make friends with the broadsheets and mass produce it and sell it to people. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> Just destroy its we value. Sell it. It's full I mean, of it's heroic a, stories. Of yeah. course you should, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so after we kill Nero. <laughs> no, yeah. well, we're going to go up to the... Uh, that's okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, I mean... I wrote his name down. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. The reporter, Nero, yeah. Uh, you hear the you hear footsteps, like running footsteps, and coming running down the alleyway mm -hmm. is the cop you folks were talking to. Mm -hmm. Uh and she stops and she's <laughs> she's like super out of breath. And she looks around and she's like, uh-huh. Are you going to do your job? They try to steal from us. <laughs> Damn. Can we file a report? Sure, she says. And she's, she's looking at all the, she's kind of walking around looking at the <clears> dead <throat> bodies <throat> and kind of nudging them with her boot. And she's like, well, I'll, I'll, hand, I'll hand her the. <laughs> oh, the, the headless. <laughs> Thank you. 
she says, and takes the head of the... Do you, do you hand her the headless body, or do you hand her the head? Uh, the body. Oh, the, the body? Yeah. And she's like, oh, great. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we've got a few of these back at the station. <laughs> and she kind of throws them to the side. And she's, like, counting how many there were. And she's Can like... Those for buffs? Oh, um... Experiment? I have the head. I don't know if butts would... She's kind of a scientist, Robotics. right? She has been not so much engineering. I think it'd be okay. Which one of you is, is it you? Are you the are you the yep. person I talked to? Mm-hmm. She's like, Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. And then she's kinda go to stand a little bit a little ways Maybe away. And she's like, Look, you know uh, <clears throat> So a whole lot of people just saw you guys do a whole bunch of weird stuff. And I don't know if you guys are casting spells or not. I'm not super worried about that right now. And they were trying to steal your stuff. But like, you know, the people I work for, they sort of turn, they sort of get uppity when random mercenaries start trying to enforce the law. Because no offense, you guys tend to be a lot less circumspect about who gets in your way and what happens to them. And she's constantly like looking over at these two. Yeah. And she's talking to you, <laughs> right? Like she's, she's like, like <laughs> actually, 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 all three of you, all three of you guys. She's like, you got, you, I, she goes, I don't know you. I don't know you, but I, I've known a lot of people like you. So, you know, just try to keep the spell casting under control, you know, and she looks around. She's like, an alleyway is probably fine, but out on the promenade, she's like, it's just going to make your lives harder and my life harder. Makes sense. And she looks at the, looks at the bodies on the ground, looks at you and she's like, everybody okay? He's a little hurt. I'll be fine. All right. Try to keep out of trouble. What can you tell us about these guys? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. And she says, um, the spring, the balance spring, they're kind of a mid-level guild. They don't usually operate in the stays. So you might have been, in, you might, what she's, is this a matism or is that, she was, she was about to say, you, you might have just been a target. There we go. You might just have been a target of opportunity. Like, people know you're here. No, they mentioned they had a job. Really? To steal something from us. What? Our book. Oh, is that what they grabbed? She didn't see it. She's like, oh. What's special about the book? It's our history. Is it magic? No. Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. Huh. Well, yeah. Taking that something that's going to cause us to do this. Well. One of the few things. She's like, I think maybe we, I know some people who might know some people. We could try to figure out what they want. The they thing said, is, she kicks were, one of the bodies. Go ahead. No, they said they were paid by some individual. Well, of course. Right? I mean, somebody paid them, right? Yeah. They're, they're not, they don't, they don't operate as... Well, so it's not them that's looking for the book. Somebody else. I mean, but. she calls, she says, you know, uh, the, the watchmaker <clears throat> just, she, whoever she works, she works for, you know, money. Like. She kicks one of the bodies and she's like, we've got all sorts of bits and these things back at the station. They're valuable. Not to us. <clears throat> like, I don't know. I've never really looked inside one of them before. Are they valuable to this watchmaker that you know of? She never seems to try to reclaim any of it. Hmm. Like, sometimes she was, she, like, she was, I'm inclined to just leave these things here and let the, let the street cleaners take them away. Let the night soil men grab them and scavenge them and turn them into something. She's like, there could be copper. She, there could be copper in there. Maybe something's valuable. Something. Yeah, like what are the little gears made out of? Uh, you know, um, metal. Th- there's. Well, you're gonna open them up. And like, like I well, already did. Well, no, there's. <laughs> but like, the, the, so like when you when you rip his head off, like springs mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. shoot out. But if you're gonna dismantle one, you're gonna find a lot of crazy shit. Mm-hmm. But there's you know crystals and stuff in there. there mm-hmm. Are they quartz? Are they ruby? Are they worthless? Are they valuable? Like, this cop is like, she never tries to recover any of the stuff. She mm-hmm. just abandons it. Mm-hmm. It's not worth it. Maybe we should, you know, hang on to a piece just in case. Well, we'll just rip one open and see if there's anything valuable inside. Doesn't sound like anybody else is inclined to do so. Go for it. I would, I would, I'm just curious, like, I would slim express that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not like, sure. I like that sentiment a lot, but I think it would just be funny if have Slim be like, you know, 
we should render them down for their valuables. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I assume there's no uh, loot or anything from them since they're using their robot arms. I don't know how we're going to find out. Well, let's search. Um, yeah, go ahead and make a... Uh, wow, I'm out of it right now. Perception check? No. <clears throat> what is searching? Uh, There's a skill. Investigation? Point. Yeah, that's it. Investigation. Uh, uh, I need a new DM. The thing, I'll roll the thing, that. I, I think, my, I think my, my problem is that this. <clears throat> I, I find that the DM screen eight, so. does not have the information on it. 20. That I need. Uh, 20. Um, so, okay, yeah. If you, if, you, if you start spending some time tinkering around with this thing, so she's just going to make sure you guys are she Make sure you guys are okay. Right. Nobody got hurt. We're fine. And she uh, wants to make it. Well, I guess uh, another question. Do you have a recommendation for where we should stay tonight? I thought we were staying at. What's Let's that? Get place? some more information. Mm -hmm. The dream. But. I, I stay at home. All right. Well, thanks. She's like, she's, yeah. she's, not, she's not. She's like, I'm not a tourist. Like, I don't know. Like. No, you live in the city. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, <clears> that's true. But she doesn't know what hotels are good hotels are. She could probably tell you. Well, actually, she's she could probably tell you which places are safe and which places not to go to because. Or actually, like, don't, what, what are you looking for? I know where the cops go. Like, I know where the cops don't go. She knows that kind of stuff. Oh, the latter. Uh, there's a place called the Shadow. She goes if you want to get in a fight. Hmm. That's probably a good place to go. No, that might not if you want to be. be uh, what's this area called again? The Stays? This island is called the Stays. Yeah. And uh, the section of it you guys are in is called the Promenade. It's a it's a whole district. What are the different... The the Stays has multiple, di multiple districts, right? Correct. What are the other ones? Like, what are the... Is there like a, a mercantile district and so on and so forth? Or what's the difference between the different districts? There's uh, six different districts. There's the Piazza, which is where you guys are right now, mm -hmm. uh, which is a commercial place. Most of what you guys see are, there are places to live. A lot of the, a lot of the stores have, the people who run them also live in them. Mm -hmm. uh, then there's the Scales, which is a, where a lot of the fishing vessels uh, dock and do their trade and where fish are gutted and stuff like that and sold and bought. A lot of seafood is bought and sold there. There's the dogs or the dog leg or the, the leg, which is a residential area. It's, I've got a little map. A little tiny map. Oh. It's very crude. Um, my <laughs> notes for the <laughs> what? I apologize for the crudity. For the crudity of the model, I didn't have time to. There's somebody <laughs> online who just, uh, based on the world building streams, posted a map that they're working on, like, on their way to work every day. They take the train, <clears throat> and oh. it's unbelievable. <clears throat> like, the amount of detail this person just invented and built into the map made me go, oh, I want that! Was that on the subreddit? Uh, it was on the subreddit. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. And uh, I, I contacted them and said, hey, I want I want to buy your map from you. And they were like, ooh, uh, it's not done. <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, let me know when it's done. But yeah, so there's the Dogs, which is a residential uh, neighborhood. It's pretty poor. There's the Shavings, which is uh, where the Imperial Bank is. It's pretty. It's pretty, It's a pretty nice neighborhood. It's commercial. There's Foxes, uh, which is an expensive residential place. Like, rich people live there. And then there's the Roses, which is actually just north of here and is a uh, where they do a lot of rendering. It's where the tanneries are. And it mm. smells bad. Ah, got it. Mm. This entire no, no, city smells problems. bad. Mm. Well, it depends on what you like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so what did uh, you, you were about to Tell me. Oh yeah, yeah. So you, uh, so you start, you know, monkey. Uh, well, you, you. What did you get? Like a twenty? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you are, you're, you're. How does Slim do this? Is it like brute force, or are you trying to like? Are you trying to figure out how how the mechanisms work? Or are you just keen no, to see what's he's, inside? He's just opening it up and looking for valuable. Okay, so yeah, you're able to kind of just pry the the plates that make up its body, mm -hmm. uh, and a uh, and every time you like pry one off. Mm -hmm. It once it's free, it like breaks into a million little facets, mm. right? Like they were held together at one point, but as soon as it's free of the mechanism, it all it doesn't disintegrate into dust, but tiny mm. little uh, diamond shaped panels. Mm. And the insides are this weird combination of hydraulics and rubber tubes and bladders and wire 
Uh, there's a lot of copper wire. There are bits that you're pretty sure are like titanium. Mm-hmm. There are gears and stuff like that. There is a crystal in his chest, mm-hmm. in his chest cavity, that uh, currently looks uh, like uh, dead. It's just a piece of glass, piece of dirty glass. Hmm. 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 Burns out, Sorry. maybe. I thought it was my turn. One thing I do want to ask the cop before she leaves is, uh, you know, we're obviously interested in getting into the main city. So how uh, does one go about doing that? The bridge. Okay. Do we not need any kind of additional paperwork? Uh, well, she points to your weapons, and she's like, "You're not going right. to get. You're not going to get through the guards." Uh, there's three bridges, and there's a bunch of ferries, mm-hmm. but all of them have guards. You're not going to be able to enter the city without um, without surrendering your weapons. Or I, I mean, she goes, "You could become. You, you got to get like a knight of the city, of whom there are a lot. Mm-hmm. Have no problem with that." So how does one do that? Just got to get some kind of find you somebody get sponsored. Because that's that's not my problem. Hmm. So, thank you for your help. <laughs> well, you were kind of a dick to her. <laughs> Look, all I ask is for people to just meet the bare minimum standard. <laughs> where uh, where can we find that Nero guy? Uh, I don't know where he is right now. You know where he hangs out? I know where he works for. Like he works for the Broadsheet Guild, but their offices are on the mainland. Hmm. They don't have a. They don't have a. a Office out here on the stairs? Uh, she's like, they probably do, yeah. She's like, sorry, I'm not a tour guide. And uh, she says, you can you know, leave your mess here. I'm sure somebody will come scavenge it. And she turns and leaves. It was like this when we got here. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, so it's not really, it doesn't sound like there's really anything worth hanging on to in this, this I mean, body. I mean, take the crystal, but... Because uh, it looks cool, but I don't think there's. I don't know. You can put it in your hat. Oh, uh, yeah. Start collecting gems. <laughs> yeah, a little red band I could stick it in. <laughs> Feel lumpy. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. It's kind of like uh, marking off kills, except yeah, yeah, collecting, yeah. collecting the fucking soul crystals of the clockwork thieves that you that you insert. Like a necklace of toes or something. I just like the idea of I have a bunch of random things from. People. I, I think it's cool that you have yeah. Slim's, that you yeah. have a sweet hat. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Let me write that down. All right, so now you guys have endured uh, some not very intensive questioning by the cops, and uh, they have they have split. Uh, what is your intention? What it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's I warm. It's warm. a minute. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. You tell me. No, I, was, I thought we were going to go secure lodging. Yeah. Well, you, you were, uh, the captain said... You guys are going to go to the Pharaoh's Dream? Is that what you want to do now? That's where I'm going to go. I don't know if everybody wants to go there. Uh, mm. Sleep. But uh, I assume we all. Well, I mean, is it your, I mean, is it like, <clears throat> do you do you picture it as being like, okay, well, let's all stop working and go to our homes. And we'll and tomorrow at 9 o'clock, we'll all become members of the chain again. So until then, I don't care what you guys do. No, I kind of want to get the, uh, the junior officers to go hang out at another bar and see what kind of information they can pick up. Okay, that's easy. Yeah. We could probably oh. even have Angel go to the Shadow. He seems like the type to they fit right in. Yeah, I don't know if we want to send him alone, but I don't know what what are, what are your retain or nails retainers. I mean, we could send uh, we could send ox and roach along with two. Yeah, those nails are so good. Mm-hmm. Ox, roach, and angel. They're pretty. Uh, yeah, and yeah, Let's I wouldn't go, be too let's... worried about them. Let's go ahead and do that. Send them there, and then we go to the tell them to keep it low dream. profile. Mm-hmm. Either I'm really disorganized or I need a lot of table space. space, a lot of surface area in order to do what I do. <clears throat> well, if we're going to go to... So how are you going to... I guess I, I don't want to make it tedious for you mm-hmm. guys to communicate with the guys back on the ship. Mm-hmm. But uh, do you guys... When you say, you know, we'll have Angel do this, like, he's not around. Like, mm-hmm. one of you is going to have to go back to the ship and say, hey... Can you take care of this and then end up mm-hmm. coming back here? Can we, you can just say, can we do it? Can we buy a sending stone here? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like a general store. Stones. We can't. There's, there's, um, you can't buy magic in the states. It's not that kind of. And and the places that you can buy magic, they don't like have signs out there and stuff. You have to know a guy. Can you not communicate? Uh, but I can spend some time. I can, communi- I can communicate with the ship, but I guess it can't. Uh, I can spend some time to switch out a spell. Or if you uh, can tell it's, it's, well, actually, the problem is that, like, yeah, hmm. I can cast sending. 
I can take cool. some time okay. to swap out a spell. Look at that. The problem is that like uh, the navigator can only communicate with people that have like telepathy. Right. People that have it's not like it's got like there's a no loud speakers speaker. like right. no like okay. when we're no, trying that to the first yeah, okay. yeah right. you guys if I recall correctly you guys spent some time That's trying right. to trying to even talk to it and I would just, I describe it it doesn't have a mouth it doesn't have ears right mm-hmm. so it has no way of speaking it has no way of hearing what you say you have to be able to think at it and you don't actually have to have telepathy <clears throat> I don't want to, that you just have to have a powerful enough mind mm-hmm. and the way you do that is you have some psionic ability on your character sheet mm-hmm. like if you have psionic abilities then you are you are on the wavelength and you can talk to the thing you don't actually have to have telepathy. But sending, yeah, dope. Is that a ritual? Is that a spell you can... Uh, I can... So you can change out your spells. It just takes time. It's Fair like enough. 10... I have to look it back up. How long something... does it take to cast sending? Not sending, I think. Instantly. What level is it? Three. That's right. That's that. That's that. Why did I take the stupid spell? Yeah, yeah Alejandro <laughs> had that spell and I was just like... So for a third level, it's like, yeah. I mean, I guess there's a point where eventually you have so many third level slots. You're like, ah, oh, why not take sending? Yeah. But we only have one or two. Like, there are probably better things you could do with it. But yeah, it's definitely a situational thing, and if you can swap out your spells, or like wait till tomorrow morning, like I said, it's like... It takes three. one round to cast. Oh, uh, does it have full casting? I don't think it does. So, I mean, I marked off a slot, but... Okay. It's something like you do like 10 minutes per spell level or something like well, that. Yeah, I have to look I'm, it back up. And, no, I, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't bother right now. We can look it up later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, The fact that it can be done is what's important. Yeah. So yeah, you swap out a spell, and you can cast Sending. Are you going to do it here in the middle of the street? Oh, fuck. We're in the alley. Oh, we're in the alley. You are in the alley. There's nobody like, in the alley. Like, that's or kind of the point that Officer <clears throat> Chinzia was making. Is it? Yeah. Officer who? I've said her name before. No. Yes, I have. Because I would have written it said. down. Yeah. No, I, I said it when you met her. Officer Chinzia. You know we have a thing where we can go check that. <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> you have a thing where... <laughs> it's, uh, uh, Captain. While Captain they're Chinzia. doing that, Slim's going to take a it's, short rest. It's spelled C-I-N-Z-I-A. Zia? Yeah. Uh-huh. I assume that that will this will all take enough time that I can sneak a short rest in. Sure, you just want to like kick it up against a like sit down against a wall and be like, "Yep, you guys, let me know when you yeah, figure out." Yeah, what yeah. Just fiddle around with <clears throat> the little bits and bobs that came out of those guys. Yeah. All right. I'm doing the same thing. Kind of hit. Oh right, yeah, you guys can take a short. Oh yeah, you need some healing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys hang out in an alleyway, take a short rest. That's yeah. fine. Well, while he's, you know, <laughs> that yeah. commanders making commands <laughs> over here. I'm just uh, going to put the finishing so touches on the say, advertisement. Uh, on the what? On the advertisement that we're going to put in the broadsheets. That's cool. Uh, do, you, do you roll when you spend hit dice? Or? Yeah. yeah. You mark off the hit die and you roll it and you get that many hit points back. And Matt does not know off the top of his head whether or not you get your con mod to it. I think you do. Uh, it should say a plus on the sheet, I think. It would be weird if you didn't. Uh, but there are a lot of weird things. Just a 60 10 on my chat says yes. Okay. Thank, yes. You, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, chat. All right. Cool. The wisdom of crowds. <laughs> uh, so I'll just say get ox and roach and meet us at the apple cart for a job. Meet us at the apple cart. <laughs> no, why? Um, and why an we, angel. We could get a. a no, he's no, telling, no, telling the angel is the person he's talking to. I, I oh, assume. gotcha. Tell him to get a. Uh, Sauce, uh, caramel sausage while you're at it. He's going to meet us there. You can tell him that if okay. you want to. Do you get a response? How yeah, he work? can respond. All right. The, the response is, sure thing, boss. All right, cool. So okay. go, to, go to the apple cart. Can we stop by and see that play on the way back? Sure. I'm just curious if it's still I going. Mean, you can probably place. watch it. I mean, you can check it out and I can wait for Angel. Go for it. Okay. It's going to be close. <clears throat> uh... So you guys are just going to head back to the uh, to the promenade, the piazza, and go to the apple cart. And Judge wants to watch the play you guys disrupted. Uh, the, While the, we wait for Angel. Uh, the actors have... Uh, the audience has disbanded, and the actors are packing up there. Sorry. Go. I was just thinking, like, what's the most dickish thing Judge could do? Oh, that's a good question. I was gonna, I'm going to pass. It's too mean. Uh, so, yeah, I think it, it's... Uh, like, it's probably going to be an hour before your retainers show up because they have to go through customs just like you guys did. Mm-hmm. Which means they got to wait in line and all that other crap. But if you wait, yeah. Hmm. Is there anybody around with one of those carpets? There is the same. I mean, there's, they don't like, there is a, there is a, uh, a, it's not a kiosk. It's a, it's a, 
I don't know how to describe it. It's like it's a, a roped off. It's a roped off area with like a um, with a trolley that's sitting there, like a a mobile uh, office. Oh, and a, par- and a parasol, like it's, and so like at the end of the day, but they work in shifts and they pack it up and they leave. But it's not there aren't any carpets there. Oh. Uh, the carpets come in the car. You wait for a carpet and the carpets take off. Hmm. Interesting. Sorry, I thought you were going to say something. Uh, no, uh, no, I was just going to say Slim's going to hang out at the apple cart and use the change from his first caramel sausages to buy more caramel sausages. <laughs> yeah, the guy, the guy's perfectly happy to sell you caramel sausages. Slim's going to become we a went. chunky boy. While we <laughs> Slim, yeah, it's not going to be Slim very long. Yeah. He's going to become a wide boy. Uh, uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, where were we? Yeah, so wait for Angel. if you guys wait, they show up. Yeah. Yeah. Halfling, halfling, assassin, and what are Roach and Ox? <clears throat> Ox is a, a dragonborn knight sorcerer. Roach is a uh, half elf cleric exorcist. So a half elf, yeah. a dragonborn, <laughs> a half elf, a dragonborn, and a halfling show up. <laughs> Quite a trio. Well, it's not the weirdest thing on the on the piazza, yeah. and uh, and Angel's kind of leading them, and the and, and the Dragonborn, uh, the Dragonborn, the half elf are like, and Angel's just kind of doot, 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 like just another day, and shows up and it's like, what's up, boss? I uh, want you guys to stay at one of the hotels and keep a low profile, see what kind of information you can pick up. Looking for work, what we can learn about the guilds and same hotel. You want us to split up? Uh, you guys stick together. Stick together. Okay. You got a you got a place in mind? Do you want to do the shadow? I think the shadow would be great. You heard it's a little <clears throat> rough, but we figured you can handle it. Sounds like my kind of place. Yeah. I'll check it out. Don't go over your per diem. Not like last time, Angel. That's okay. If I need any money, I'll steal it. <laughs> Sounds good. Pretend I didn't hear that. All right, well, let's sync up in the morning. Okay, where are you going to be? Meet you here. Okay. All right, let's go do something. Yeah. yeah. Should we go to the Pharaoh? The Pharaoh's dream? Yeah, I want to check this place out. <clears throat> so, the... I mean, I guess. We'll see how it goes. But well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we'll see if there's a stable. I can... Here's the thing. <laughs> you can sleep at the stable. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, if there's a stable, I'll sleep in there with Big Cat. But, like... Well, I'm sure that I can let her let her in. So we'll see. Uh, some friends of mine broke into the Pharaoh's dream one time, a long, long time ago. But we had to uh, we had to sort of make some uh, uh, we had to sort of take out some loans from the costume department. If you know what I'm saying? Uh, we can't walk in there looking like this. I mean, we could, but we're not going to really accomplish much. Looking like what? Looking like a bunch of uh, you know. A, bunch of career soldiers who just spent the afternoon fighting. Mm. You're telling me I have to get dressed up to go to this place? Have you seen this hat? The, actually, the hat's not a bad touch. Okay. Keep the hat. Maybe, keep, maybe change the... Totally keep the hat. Yeah. The rest of it, we'll we're going to need okay. to work on. Is this we'll get a monocle! <laughs> we'll get a monocle! <laughs> yeah. we, is there a monocle around here we can get? A monocle stop. <laughs> yeah, definitely, there's a... Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a monocle keep factory. Two in. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's done on Third Street. Yeah, Monocles are us. <laughs> That's on Third Street. <laughs> is this why you dress the way you do? I mean, uh, not even this is going to really fly. Mm-mm. I mean, we got to get, we got to get duded up. Duded up. Okay. Just imagine this montage as we fly in the closer. Yeah. <laughs> Changing. Yeah. <laughs> like, we need to go full blown fancy pants if we're going to like actually get any service in this place. All right. Well, you all Powdered enjoy wigs, yourselves. Sweet robes, wigs. really Powdered shirts, wigs. the whole deal. I'm getting them all. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> What's uh what's the medium porridge option? <laughs> what's the medium porridge? <laughs> <laughs> oh, suddenly they want to hear the option. This porridge is too hot. Uh, <clears throat> we can Commander, I'm not trying to talk us out of this. I mean I got clo- I got clothes, but I'm not wearing a wig. I mean you guys can afford well, I mean well, you've got the hair for it. Is there like a, a fashion like you know like we're not from here. Perhaps we can show off our own fashion for our own places that we're you from. You can go to Taylor's. Yeah. Can we just I guess we could just go there and be like Staying at the dream tonight, just just wreck yeah. me. I mean, it just <laughs> depends on how much guys want to spend. We got some like, cash. We got a treasury. We got some cash to burn. It's like Vegas now. 
I've got, I've got. What is Slim's, what is Slim's reaction? I'm just thinking. Is, that, is this Slim or is this Phil? <laughs> it's kind of both. Yeah, it's <laughs> Slim in a powdered wig and it just fucking tickles me. <laughs> Another option is that we send the, uh, well, I was kind of thinking it would be you and me that would go there because we could probably get it. I don't think yeah. about hey, these guys. We can this send the beast uh, to medium portage. Copper, your treasure. Okay. All right, fine. <clears throat> you're a treasure. No, you're not the bell of the ball. <laughs> I want you're not the bell of the ball. You're a treasure, but you're not the bell of the ball. We'll still get wow. you. Yeah, you have all that glass. Yeah. We'll, get you, uh, we'll get you a diamond tip cane. So do, those do the people, oh, yeah. especially people like Copper and Judge that have known King for a while, do they know King's, like, backstory? Um, I don't mean, like, his origins, but, like, you know, like the the, do they know whether or not you were lower class, middle class, upper class, or is it like nope, my past is? Uh, no, I don't think they would. But okay. the the reason I got my name was because I keep my stuff nice and I have nice stuff that I brought in oh, with me. Yeah, that's okay. that's kind of the mocking thing. That's like what you think. Got it. Well, because peasant wouldn't have stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, peasant wouldn't have those items, right? Mm. So, so King mm-hmm. kind of has a reputation for wanting to do spend money to have nice stuff. Got it. So, yeah. And keep his and keep his stuff really nice and and especially for a mercenary an itinerant mercenary company that's unusual because it's like it, everything gets covered in dust and and beat up. Mm. I would say Judge is probably a little similar to that. Makes sense to me. Yeah. I mean, you're 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 in, in hell. Your royalty. Yes, I or am. Or whatever. No, nobility. Well, nobility. Third of mystery, royalty, nobility. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I mean, like, uh, what what kind of clothes do you need to wear? I mean, well, I mean, you can see there are like. I look awesome. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take you to a, a tailor. Well, and you look really around and saying. like there's definitely there's definitely a fashion, uh-huh. right? And and fashion. Boots's stuff is kind of um, out of date and not the most expensive, mm-hmm. but it's the right genre. Puffy shirts. Well, like really expensive doublets. Really. And often a lot of the guys, a lot of the more kind of wealthy <clears throat> people you see on the promenade, uh, have hose. You know, as opposed to like um, trousers, mm. and 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 a lot, and they have great hair. Like, uh, and and you've already seen at least one guy who's wearing a wig. Yeah, but I mean, like, there's not a lot of it. Like, it's like <laughs> so. But I mean, I only imagine like you. You've also mm, it's it's tough because you guys are from around here, so it's tough to kind of it's tough to, for you to decode all the different people you see on the promenade, the piazza, because mm-hmm. a lot of them are non-human. Mm-hmm. And it's hard to tell, like, which ones are the rich ones and which ones are the poor ones. But there are definitely, among the humans, mm-hmm. there's definitely a style. And the more kind of, exp- like, you've already seen, like, one guy, the guy that took that carpet taxi, mm-hmm. who does not dress like, uh, was not dressed like a Rio one at all. But mm-hmm. he was wearing a lot of, there was, th- that outfit cost a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And uh, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. I heard him down the go. I'm not yeah, wearing, let's go. Let's not go to wearing the a freaking wig. How much do you think a lot was going to be considered on here? I can't imagine it's more, more than, than a what we already gold, have. just like normal. Okay. I don't know. Have you bought clothes? We'll see there, maybe. <laughs> fancy, fancy? I mean, <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Do you know a tailor? No, it's a cobbler. I know a guy. I do know a guy. Can we all get boots? Oh. 15. 15, yeah. There's a place called uh, Agostino Benito <clears throat> Campeño. It's a... Uh, it's it's in the it's not in the piazza. It is. Uh, is this like the Versace, or or is like Calvin Klein? I mean, not crying. Huh? What? I'm not crying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, in the shavings. It's near. It's near the bank. It's a. It's a nice place. And the mm-hmm. banks where we did the exchange, right? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of kind of, you, you passed a lot of upscale uh, places, commercial places. Where's the foxes at in com- <clears throat> uh, compared to where so, the shavings is? Actually, here. here. here, here so, here, here. I mean, <laughs> we're all bloody and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're wearing, yeah, yeah. You're like, for context, uh, mm-hmm. you guys are about to go to like a five star hotel. Mm hmm. Looking like right, and so <laughs> like a one star like hotel. One star. I, just, I think it'd be fun to just to walk in there as is, and yeah. see what happens. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Our money's the same as everybody else's. Well, what's gonna what's gonna happen? Uh, they're just gonna give us the runaround. Like it's gonna be that restaurant you tried to go to in L.A. <laughs> exactly, guys. Why don't you ask for this? I said, uh, and the, the, my fellow game developers are like, what do you mean? 
And I'm like, it's, it's the Palomino, like these places. Like, look at the people in there and look at us. We are not dressed for that place. And the people I was with were like, I do not understand what you mean. And I was like, all right. <laughs> and we spent like two hours just waiting to get sat for lunch. Oh. And I was like, guys, I got to go back. <laughs> and uh, so, I mean. No, this this I, slims 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 up for it. It's an adventure. Okay, well, yeah. Consider it a tactical decision. <laughs> it just we're, we're, sounds interesting. We're, we're infiltrating the enemy fortress disguises, which also happens to have very nice beds and and bats. So it's a um, Augustinos Bonitas and Campenos is a small place compared to the the bank that you guys with the exchange you guys went to, which was like this almost like a Roman temple was huge and tons of people doing business there. This is a much smaller little kind of <laughs> hole in the wall place. And it has this uh, elaborate sign. It's just the, these three names with kind of uh, highly stylized ampersands between them written in common uh, over the door. And you can see in the through the window that there's like really expensive clothes here. How much are we thinking? Slim what goes in. Cost? <laughs> you open the door, a bell rings, and you see that there's, um, it's uh, like, has Slim, has Slim ever been to a tailor's before? I doubt it. Right, so it's. I mean, it's, it's from the astral plane, yeah, from so the you've seen a lot of plane, weird man. shit, yeah, right? Yeah. But I don't know that. You've seen a lot of weird <laughs> shit. You haven't seen yeah. a lot of normal shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be your together. weird shit. Your own. Your so own it's, it's, it's tons of, uh, cloths on display of different colors and they're mostly like um wine colors they're muted so they're dark purples dark reds it's not like a riot of color there's always like obviously mm -hmm. a certain kind of uh of uh, uh a tone is in fashion mm -hmm. and there are like these weird headless legless bodies on poles <laughs> that are situated around and some of them some of I think, them I think of the, the spring boys. Yeah, well it kind of looks like <laughs> it kind of looks like these might be the models for those or something. <laughs> right? And mm -hmm. they they're they're made out of some kind of uh, uh cotton like the uh, stuffed like pillows or something. Mm -hmm. And uh there's a couple of them that have pieces of cloth on them with chalk marks almost like pinstripes uh on them and various symbols. Uh, almost like arcane sigils on these on these on these unfinished pieces of clothing, and it's it's really uh, musty in here. It smells like uh, tobacco, like somebody smokes. I don't know. If, I don't know if Slim knows what that smells like. So it feels like. Do I, what do I He's think? ambivalent of the smell. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's it's just another it's just another weird smell. A bunch of among a bunch yeah, of. Them. It's not bad. It's not uh, great. But uh, this wizened old dude who's bald and has like, he's bald on top and he's got these tufts of gray hair uh, is, when, is when you when you close the door, he kind of sticks his head out from behind a screen and he's got like a, a measuring tape in his mouth. Mm -hmm. And he's like, a customer. And he goes, oh, stand by. And he runs up and he's like, Hello. And he has this uh, kind of classic Rioan accent, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna abuse. Did you guys come in but, too? No, apparently yeah. not. Apparently, oh, you. I'll walk in. Yeah, yeah, I'll walk in. I'll walk in. <clears throat> we need to get into the dream. And yeah. and and what are I, I, who who are you, my friend? What can I do for you? I need a garment. <sighs> and then you folks come in. He's like, yeah. ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> officers, officers. Yes, excellent. Yes, this I understand. Yes. I like to be uh, closed, please. Uh, uh, <laughs> one uh, close, please. One, one, one close. <laughs> one, <Nice>. close please. <laughs> one close, please. Uh, you, 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 sir. You, sir. You are, you are someone awesome. I can clearly deal with. Uh, uh, yes. Good day. Uh, 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 he kind of wants to. Like, can I talk to you for a second over here? Yeah. He says, "So, um, um, uh, thank you for for choosing." Agostino Bonito and Campeño. Yeah, you come highly recommended. Uh, am I to understand that I will be outfitting a goblin and an alien and a brew, a tiefling? Uh, well, I mean, if, if you're not up to it, we could find uh, somewhere else. But well, how 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 I understand that as uh, obviously military military figures that there is 
there are there are official dinners that you must attend and you must be a, a pro, appropriately dressed. Yeah, you got the idea. How much? How much? How much were you thinking of spending? I'm probably how much not. do you think this is going to take? I must say, this is a challenge. <laughs> this is this is a challenge. I'm happy. I'm happy for the business. Uh, you know, six people walking in all at once, especially on an afternoon like this, is. But at the same time, whew, uh, we're in a pinch. Maybe, 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 like maybe there's maybe there's some place better suited for people of your dimensions. I'm like half the clothes. Do you, you have children's just, clothes? Yeah. I'm, just a, <clears throat> I'm not. <laughs> this is a child's. I, I, we're not. We haven't. So far, we haven't yet had a need for goblin children of any sort. I'm sure you could wear like kid sizes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you point us in the direction of someone who might be able to whip us up some. Uh, I mean, let's just call it what it is costumes. Well, I mean. You don't like money? I mean, uh, so is this like an intimidation check? Is this... No, this is a slim being like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, it's, it is, it is, uh, forgive me, my friend, it is, it is a challenge. <laughs> you don't like challenges? Well, what sort uh, of man are you? Yeah. Uh, well, one, one, one that's not, one that's not used to it. <laughs> 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 like calm, calm down, man. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Uh, Keep it together. <laughs> one that's one that's used to a, a more local clientele, shall we say? I have two legs, two arms, a head, the same as all of these creatures. <sighs> yes, very well. Uh, what, 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 how, what was it? What, what was perhaps for whom do you need to dress? He says. We're staying at the Pharaoh's Dream this evening. Ah, ah, hmm. Kind <laughs> of surprised that, like, uh, uh, well, indeed, uh, yes, uh, very fine, very fine hotel, one of the best in the city. Uh, and you need something appropriate uh, to impress the concierge and get a good room. Precisely. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm, okay. Well, and what uh, what time frame were you thinking? Uh, uh, four weeks. Uh, three <laughs> tonight. Three what? hours. We need this expedited. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of twirls his hair. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, and, uh, well, uh, if you're willing to buy something, we'd you know sort of off the rack, as it were, uh, not get it fitted because obviously that takes time. Do they have we stuff on a rack? Well, they have, he, he explains that they have deals with other kind of less um, upscale businesses. Mm -hmm. So he can, he could send a runner to go get stuff right now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and kind of, it would be, it would be the stuff he would get for rich clientele. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't be, it just wouldn't be made to order. He's like, I can get you. He's like, he can get you folks something. It's just a question of how much do you want to spend? He says, the Pharaoh's dream is a very nice place. What is that? Is That's that, my bag of gold. Of course. Coins. Coins. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. bag of coins. Yeah. How much is it? Uh, 419 uh, gold pieces. Four, so he, he's like, eh, he picks it up. He's like, he opens. Actually, do you still have these? Are, so these are all actually real and coins, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and he, he kind of rummages around and he's like, uh, how do you have your heart set on the Pharaoh's dream? What would you suggest? Something a, a little more affordable, perhaps. Well, we're not looking to stay the night there, perhaps. We just wait, wait. So this isn't enough to stay not for in, five people to mm. stay in the the, the, the no for him to for him to go get you outfits. Oh, oh, that's just his money. Oh, that's not enough for one. But he, he is, is the richest out of all of us. Oh, well, and that's a different matter. If you're each talking about spending several hundred gold, then absolutely he will take care of you. 100%. We're not spending several hundred gold. Well, how I much got, are you? I guess we're going to the medium porridge, man. <laughs> like, how I much are you? Give him my options. You can go to the stool. 
Oh, that sounds. <laughs> 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 that sounds quite. Go to the shadow. Yeah. We'll go to the shadow. We'll send it. Yeah, right we'll go. go to the store. Yeah. We're gonna go sample the store. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's cool. cool. That's what they call. <clears throat> we should go to the rich place because that's where the people with the most money are gonna offer us jobs, and we need money. It's called right the now. Prince's Footstool. Well, maybe only a couple. Oh, of hang on a second. The, the Prince's Footstool. That sounds a little place. better than just. That's a, kind of like a. Well, that's what I was thinking. That's like a regular everyday. The the issue is that like. You guys are gonna be less visible there, right? It's come more. It's a much more obscure place as opposed to the Pharaoh's Dream. The Pharaoh's Dream is famous throughout the city. Like the Pharaoh's Dream is where visiting nobles would want to stay if they were gonna stay in the in the docks. Mm -hmm. um, and it's 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 like it broadcasts, "Hey, we're here." It's gonna make it very easy for people to find you, folks. You see this guy as a halfling? No. Oh, just a little. Human? No, he's just short. He's just old and short. Do you need to hire warriors? No. Not on this occasion. Mm. So, King, we, what you're saying is we don't <laughs> necessarily ask. stay at the um, Pharaoh's Dream, just. Well, we don't necessarily all need to go either. To a couple go, people, like yeah. a couple people, could get the fancy up, go there. Get information or something. And then, I, I mean, know. I should have clothes that'll pass in. Sure. Like, why do you yeah, want to? Like, let me just add, let me. Like, why do you want to go to the Pharaoh's Dream if you don't want to go stay in a really expensive place? At this point, I, I want to go, go to... because it, everyone's telling me I can't. <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a perfectly in character reason. <laughs> I want to go because that's where the rich people are going to come and offer us jobs. Yeah. Okay. Well, then you, that. So what, I'm just what you're saying is, hey, we want to be seen to be rich people. Yes. Yeah. So you need to look the part. Yep. That's all. Yep. So it's just going to be expensive. I've got 400 gold burning a hole in my pocket, man. Yeah, I mean, we got the treasure well, back on like, the ship. We'll be all right. For, for just, yeah, for uh, the 2,000 gold, what is that? Uh, for for that much gold, he's like absolutely. 200 gold each. Well, if you're each, if, if he was offering 400 gold, and he's like, I've got 400. Gold. So it's like, okay, well, let's get some well, I didn't custom made shirt. Sure, well, I just <laughs> was showing him how this much money enough. I had. Oh, you showed your well, hand. I mean, no. I didn't end up in the chain by being he, responsible he, with my spending. He, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he thought you were making a uh, like. He, well, I better get my money's worth if I'm going to give it all to him. Well, yeah, that's 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 probably going to take a little while. He'll probably have to have something. I mean, there, you probably can't spend more than a hundred gold each. Mm -hmm. here on stuff that he's just going to go grab for you guys. Mm -hmm. It's still going to be like our equivalent of really upscale high brand stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to be it's not going to be bespoke. Right? Uh, but if you want something bespoke, if you want something that is literally made for you, mm -hmm. uh, which would cost more, but it'll also give you guys like actual bonuses to diplomacy checks and stuff mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. with people you meet. We'd have to wait. Uh, you're going to have to, it, 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 well, it's, you know, you can do both. You can be like, here's some outfits for tonight. Uh, give me an hour. Mm -hmm. Give me an hour, and mm -hmm. I'll get you something. And then come back in three weeks, and we'll let, get you folks some. Re now he doesn't know your timetable, mm -hmm. right? That'd be pretty awesome. Well, what is our timetable? Like big yeah. old like That's fucking a... super fancy vest with doodads I mean, on. Oh yeah, sir. Black, so the tall, red. thin, the tall, yeah. thin alien gentleman might like, and he shows you this, uh, this really kind of exquisitely embroidered with gold and this this glimmering red thread that mm -hmm. you don't even know what is. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of a doublet that mm -hmm. uh, would fit slim. Eh. Well, if Sir doesn't like that, we have other options. We have other options. Perhaps the gold was a bit much. Uh, something perhaps that would complement Sir's uh, natural uh, complexion. We'll some find nice, something. Some nice greens and ochres, and I yeah. see you in earth tones, big time. Yeah, yes. you're more of a, you're more of a ah, we're, an autumn. We're the, I thought we were the chain. We red Should and black it. are our colors. That'd be cool. Oh yeah, absolutely. He'll get you something that. I mean, so he's curious as to whether or not you want. I prefer you want, like, silver. It's a very popular color, sir. Do you? Uh, is this? Is or are these? Are we looking for dress uniforms? Are we looking for? Something more casual, or what is the what is, yeah, what is like, sir, can we get in we there? Should like uniforms, generals of a great mm -hmm. army. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, like cool. we're we're going to be spending some time on the stays before we make it into the mainland, right? Like we want to, we like I'm assuming by the time we when we go to the mainland, we want to be able to go there with our weapons in tow, correct? Fancy, so that we can work. Um, uh, what if we just had had his runners pick us up something that'll pass us off for like the prince's footstool. 
put down, put some money down for well, the super fancy stuff. stuff the, the super fancy footstool? shit. Yeah, he, I think he said we, there was the something. The prince's footstool is more like a regular, oh, okay, middle like middle class place. Okay. You probably you'll probably still get some attitude because you're still you're still soldiers that are covered in oil and sweat and blood. <laughs> but I mean, we can uh, wash. Oh, I mean, we can go yeah. lay on our uh, exfoliating beds. Right. Get that all cleaned up. That's true. You could go back. You could go back to the Somnium Tenebris and get new clothes and mm-hmm. get Change. cleaned up. Mm-hmm. Like I should have clothes on the Somnium. Tenebris. I should have clothes. I should yeah. have clothes that are <clears throat> passable. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to be here oh. for more than one night. Right. Yeah. So let's let's you know put in an order for some That's fancy super fancy, fancy guard. I, I like that idea. And then uh, you know, like I said, he can get you stuff within an hour. That is like really nice, uh, you know, Whoa. expensive stuff. It just won't be custom tailored. Mm. I think. I think and what I'm, you're saying is, we if we get the custom tailored stuff, we're going to be here a while. Eventually, I prefer the unique. Well, I think yeah. you're saying we should get some custom tailored Good. stuff for the future. For the future, it's yeah. Gonna help mm-hmm. once we get to you the know. main city and yep. 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 you know, going up so, to the guilds. And- that's true. That's true. Like, like the, the you guys are going to be your, your plan, as far as I understand it, is going to be is going to require you to interface with probably a lot of different factions yeah. mm-hmm. and some of them are like uh, nice, everybody right? everybody in capital seems to have a noble title mm-hmm. even just random nobodies yeah uh so kind of looking the part is going to have a big impact mm-hmm. so you spend the money and you will eventually like in three weeks you'll get uh custom tailored awesome. clothes yeah. that will give you bonuses to your negotiation checks is there and a- it'll probably get you into places you wouldn't otherwise get into but he can get you something in today right now that'll get you into the pharaoh's dream without anybody complaining It's up to you. And that's going to cost 200 I thought you said 100 Well, I, thought, I, was saying, I was saying get the clothes tonight, but then get the custom tailored stuff for later. Uh, the it, it, Like, he'll make you a deal, like a kind of a package deal, and he'll do all of that for 250 gold each. Make it 200 yeah. each, and it's done. Well, you're going to have to make a roll. Like, like his, his, again, go ahead. Guidance. Roll that D4. That's fine, yeah. Four. You're divinely inspired. Uh, 19 plus 10, 29. 29? <laughs> well. Yeah, no problem. Should give us yeah, a better deal. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't yeah. even remember offering 250. Here, he's 200 seems, he, he remembers offering 200 at this point. He's like, yeah, yeah 200, yeah, no nice. problem. So, uh, if you guys hang out here for an hour, he comes back with, uh, he'll, he, he, he summons a page. And he, has, he gives the page a bunch of money. And he says, go here and buy this. Go here and buy this. Go get some go get some uh, hose from these guys. And then he's, he's like, you're welcome. And he, he brings out a tray with wine mm-hmm. on it. And there's little, like, really nicely upholstered chairs for you folks to hang out in. Uh, I, I, sir, I, I apologize. It's been... It's... Uh, we're not used to serving such uh, august personages such as yourself, he says. It's decent. I better. <laughs> <laughs> so an hour goes by, and this uh, page comes back with a big stack of clothes. Closed. Yeah, and the, the, the tailor goes through it and starts mixing and matching and starts saying, you, sir, this will, and gives you clothes that are appropriate for... I like these clothes. Oh, really? Mm. They make you look like a peacock. <laughs> right? They're very flamboyant. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. I think it's amazing. Yeah. They're definitely, <laughs> they're definitely a hero's, hero's clothing. Great, made for a great warrior. Exactly. Um, makes you look like you've done great things. <laughs> a peacock? Uh, you'd be like... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like... No, 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 just like there, there's, it's, it's a lot, compared to what you're used to wearing. I see. It's just a lot of different colors and kind of ostentatious uh-huh. filigree and, you know, big puffy shoulders and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be interesting. If anybody's watching, and God knows, but if anybody's watching, this is the kind of thing where if we get this, like, like fan art of this would be pretty, yeah. pretty amazing. <laughs> So like so now like uh so he's gonna have your armor. He's like, I'll have your armor uh taken to the hotel. He'll get there before you folks do. That's right. Great. That's right. Slim's like, wait a minute. Hang on a minute. I don't have any armor. 
It's all, it's all on you yeah, still. Yeah, it's yeah. stuck to <laughs> Actually, look, I look with little gems on me. I'm like, it looks nice. The bedazzled? Yeah. But <laughs> I can't wear my armor with it. It's not, it's, I mean, no. It's not your, your it's not designed to be worn over plate. We'll, uh, we'll just. Probably I guess you could try. Like you could, you could, you could mm. like crush the clothing underneath your armor, <laughs> and then it would get. Like, well, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's got the, the the front thing right, and he's got the shoulder stuff and the arms and yeah. the legs. I mean, the leg parts would fit over the hose. It would ruin the cut of the. Is the, the tailor is 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 like what? Like <laughs> that that idea of like wearing your armor on it would, doesn't make any sense to him. But he's like, uh, yeah, we get like motorcycle gear where it's like it's got armor built into it. Uh, you've gone to like maybe a blacksmith. No, no, I, I think Slim's he's gonna try it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, he's, well, because because like you said, he's wearing hose, right? Well, in this case, yeah, like you don't so, have to. They have, so, so the bottom, the greaves would would go on. Sure. Fine, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. The uh, what are the. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you, like it's a Slim's way of doing it, right? It's like, yeah. okay, great. Thanks for the clothes. Now he puts the armor on over. <laughs> exactly. And he's like, awesome. Now the best of both worlds. Exactly. Okay, okay, yeah. So <laughs> Slim looks kind of so. So those the rest of you are aware that Slim looks he's unusual, got... <laughs> right? Like he this is looks un unusual. This is yeah, unusual, so. unusual before. That's true. So. That's true. That's Maybe true. Just, really... he's just a, keep in mind, Slim he looks like an mind. alien. He's like, just keep in mind, Slim is not you in. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's admiring himself in the mirror. Cool. Yeah, you look great. You look great. Yeah, yeah. you spent a lot of money on these clothes. So, <laughs> how much uh, was it? Two hundred. It's a uh, two hundred. Yeah. Oh, no, well, we're getting a tailor made. No, he's Twice also well. he's. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's included. He made you a deal, and he yeah. said uh, two, set, two sets thing, for yeah. two hundred. Well, they're being five. He's like, it's unusual. He's like, uh, he doesn't have a watch. That's ridiculous. But he's like, it's now getting close to like five o'clock, mm -hmm. and he's like, strange. We haven't had any customers while you were here. It's unusual, especially on a. Cats the There's a giant too. fucking cat in front of the door <laughs> that's his and that he doesn't know about. But yeah, Copper, you're correct. <laughs> that might be the reason. Uh, Slim's going to go into great detail about the kind of clothes that he wants him to make. Okay. I like, mean, I'm not going to do it, but... I just, no, I know. Yeah, I guess. You're going to get an email. This, and I want it to do this. I want it to be this color and this color. I want it to work with the armor. Okay, well, he's going he's gonna to walk you through the whole... The story. He's going to show you. He's going to. He's mm -hmm. going to make sure that uh, that he is picking out fabrics and uh, styles mm -hmm. and colors that you want. Mm -hmm. So it's not just going to be. I'm going to take notes. He's like, so does does mm -hmm. Sir like this, or would Sir prefer this, or? Mm -hmm. And you, so you, you hear like he's like velvet. Well, all right, fine, sure, yes, absolutely. <laughs> but there are some choices that Slim makes. It's furry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is the pelt of some alien animal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you hear the 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 tailor is sometimes kind of amazed at Slim's choices, but for the money you folks are paying, uh, he's perfectly happy to indulge you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it, you'll so, be famous. So you, so the <laughs> in your craft. <laughs> Who are you wearing tonight? <laughs> Augustino. <ooh. Thanks. laughs> um. So yeah, he he'll have he'll have your clothes. He'll have your finished clothes. Yeah, he, and he, he he there's uh there's goblin sized uh How many, clothing. Do they have any monocles there? Uh, Is that a thing in this world? I don't even know. Do they have? Do they do they sell monocles here? Not not here. But if you ask him, he'll tell you where to get some. Okay. Oh, what's this place Can called I get again? Some? It's called Augustinos. It's ABC. Augustinos, Bonitos, and Campanos. And the A and the B and the C are like much in the, on the sign are much larger than the other places mm. and the other letters. It's been a long week. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we'll uh, we'll have so he is already with the exception of Slim. He unless you stop him, he's going to have a uh, another page take your armor to the hotel, and then you'll have your you'll be wearing your outfits when you leave. I'm keeping the chronicle with me. That's fine. Mm. Like, can we? I don't know if you want it to run off. I don't know if Big Cat would do it, box. but like, nah. no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I was if the, if Big Cat would like carry it for us. I don't. I doubt Satchels. she would. She would care. I don't know if she would carry it for us. Mm. Maybe I can try. Can Big Cat spoiler eat it? Can play Big Cat mm -hmm. spoiler? <laughs> spoiler, <laughs> spoiler eat it. It's, it's been long enough. It's spoiler. Mm -hmm. um, can, can Big Cat flirt it? Spoiler eat it. Eat it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm wondering if we can't flirt. 
Like, <laughs> she'd probably be pretty hesitant to carry our stuff. I wonder if we well, could, I mean, I uh, do you? It's her. up to it's up to you. I mean, she probably is strong enough, right? Yeah. She's basically as big as a horse. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Then we could carry it with us. Do you have a saddle on Big Cat? Yeah, it's it's not very fancy. It's just some. I like the idea of Big Cat walking through the streets with saddle fashion bags. fashion bags being held in his tentacles. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. If that, if you guys feel safer with that, at least then it's on us, rather than. Well, I'd we just, actually. We prefer... just paid a lot of money to this guy. If his page runs off with our shit, I don't well, think he's going to run off with it. But he could get jumped. My right? my so. worry is no, that no, like for I, some absolutely not nothing no, such a thing would never happen. My worry is that for some reason or another, we can't get into the Pharaoh's dream and all our shits inside. He's inside, yeah. And we're left outside in these clothes. Let's just go with That's it. Good point. Let's just go with it's it. Like at this well, point, we're done, right? Yeah. With getting close, they'll let us in. Well, it's up to you. He, he's he's just trying to help. He's saying instead of instead of since you're going to be here for an hour anyway, waiting. Which by the way, that hour's already passed. At the beginning of that hour, he's like, "I will have your clothes. I'll have your your uh, mm. your work clothes sent ahead." Okay. And if you guys are like, "No, no, no," we'll we'll we've got a basically a six legged beast well, of burden that yeah. we can. Then he'll be like, "Oh, that then by all means." Can we request that we can they be laundered before they get sent over? Absolutely. Oh, excellent! Can yeah. you get my boots shined, please. Absolutely, and, and may I say that that sir has very fine taste in uh, in adventuring clothing. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Are those boots from here? Did you get them in Capital? Uh, they were custom made. Hmm. I think they are from Capital, but I don't think they're from this place. No. Uh, if sirs would like, I could have the I could have your armor taken to the, the Rondel, which is a blacksmith. A uh, very nice blacksmith, and have it have it polished, and have all the mm. all the all the dents and abrasions that one that one uh, necessarily accumulates in one's job, being in the line of work that you are. Uh, have all that stuff for a small fee, taken care of. I'm fine with just having my laundered. Like people knowing that I've been through some shit. You don't want to give it the works. Okay, yeah, he'll take I'll care of it. it. He'll take you, care of it. You need the battle damage. God, he's drinking over to you. <laughs> yeah, he'll take care of it. All right. It works for mine, at least. I don't. Same. I don't, I don't need it. Oh, yeah, you don't have armor. You have, Let's you go. Just, like, I just need armor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> take these. You don't want to get your armor shine? Buff their yeah, boobies a little bit. So, these... these oh, uh, this the, armor tells stories of greatness. Uh, yeah, so the, you guys are now in your custom tailored uh, outfits from a fine, uh, not your custom tailored outfits, mm -hmm. your, your off the rack stuff from a fine Rio and tailor. And it fits really well considering the fact that it wasn't made for you. Uh, so, is, yeah. I had a whole lot of the seats. This is the image of us walking out of that place with all the fancy clothes. It's pretty silly. You're going to get cat hair <laughs> yeah, all yeah, over your right. You're going to get cat hair all over. I do it all the time. I shoot whole videos and then I watch it afterwards and I'm like, I'm covered in cat hair. I didn't, <laughs> why didn't anybody tell me? Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And then, so you guys mark off the money. I did. Yep. Okay. Actually, you only need to mark off like half of it because uh, he'll, you'll pay the, it'll be deposit. Oh, when you get it. It'll be deposit and you'll pay the other half in three weeks. And he'll have somebody come to the Pharaoh's <laughs> Dreams. Uh, well, we'll let them know where we're going if we're not here. All right, so mark off hundred. I I I, I wrote a, I wrote a post on Reddit about how like the campaign diaries are it's too much it's too much work for me uh, because I have to edit them over the weekend and that sucks. I want, I'd like to have my weekends back, mm -hmm. but I feel suddenly really motivated to do a campaign diary <laughs> about what? tonight's session. I think it's I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be really interesting. Um, so yeah, are, are you guys now you're you are well outfitted. You look amazing. It's oh, yes. uh it's the the colors are mostly red, <laughs> black, and silver, but not exclusively. Because it was all kind of what we could, what they could find. Uh, so the custom tailored stuff you guys are going to get is actually going to look like official chain like uniforms. Livery. Yeah, yeah. But In this case, stuff, this stuff, it's more it. thematic. It's not as. Uh, is there but, is there a, a glasses shop on the way? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, hundred percent. Yep. Okay. Yep. Your big when you walk out, big uh, cat is like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me. Just can't. And big cat kind of like. Presses its nose right right up against. She's like, "Oh God, you can get hair all over." And then starts like doing this thing where she kind of goes, <laughs> <and> like, <laughs> like, oh, "You don't smell like me yeah. anymore. You don't smell like me. What did you do? 
I got to smell like I got to smell back over here like that and you see you see Pine. copper like rat like the, the the giant tentacle paddles kind of grab copper and push <laughs> copper into the into the, into into big cat's face uh and then and then the tentacles pick you up and put you on the back of big cat and you're back in the saddle so it's big I won't be this way for long don't worry uh and you folks now uh dressed to the nines head over to the to the pharaoh's dream uh, the Pharaoh's Dream is one of the largest buildings you've seen so far in the stays. It's a five-story hotel, and the whole thing is designed to look like it was teleported here from Kamara. Like it's it's themed, right? It's, it's got the a Luxor. Yep, yeah. it's very much <laughs> yeah. well. The Lux, it's it's like well, I, yeah. There's probably better examples, but yeah, the Luxor. If the Luxor was like the best hotel in. New York or, or Egyptian Caesar's Palace. Yeah, and uh, there are there are um, porters outside who are assisting people with baggage and stuff because there are litters that show up. Litters are you know um, kittens. <laughs> no, not kittens. <laughs> not kittens. No, like <laughs> carts. Carts pulled by people instead of horses, right? And uh, they're showing up and offloading guests. And as you like, there are people of all different backgrounds coming and going from the foyer, which is large, uh, but they're all, yeah, they're all dressed really well. And in fact, they're all dressed uh, way better than you folks are now. Like. Any tieflings? Ha, huh, no. <laughs> Sorry, that was an undue amount of commentary on my part. <laughs> the, the, the answer is merely no, not ha, no. That, that was a world I building ha. Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't ask that, the NPC this question. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm suddenly in a really good mood. Um, yeah, but so there are people coming and going and there are, um, so like, you don't need a perception check for this. I'm sure one of you will notice, like there are, because of the Kalian Empire, you can be a human from anywhere and you can look like anything. You can be from any ethnic background and be from any part of the world. So, but this is the first time you're really seeing, apart from the Vanir men, you're really seeing like Vasalorians who are not Rioan. They're they're Vasalorian. They're like Vasalorian, wealthy Vasalorians are here. Mm -hmm. There are wealthy Hagarans coming and going. And then also a bunch of like it's not, it's there aren't it doesn't seem as though there are a lot of native Rioans. Mm. Uh it's mostly people from out of town. Hmm. And yeah, um, what 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 do the people that look better than us? What are they doing different? That's good. Like that that we're not doing. Well, make a make a perception check. I want to look too. Twenty one. Well, that's yeah, that's pretty good. Damn, get out here. Actually, it, no. Twenty three. Twenty three is even like their stuff is is. Uh, so the stuff you're wearing, it's still off the rack. Mm -hmm. So it looks good, mm -hmm. right? It looks better than the people like on the street. Mm -hmm. But these guys have spent a lot of money to look good on purpose. This is kind of like what you imagine your custom tailored stuff is going to look like when it shows up, mm. right? So, so keep in mind, fits perfectly. Well, and they spend a lot of money. It's all about conspicuous consumption, mm -hmm. right? The people that are staying at this hotel want you to know how much money they spent. Mm -hmm. You guys just want to look good. Mm -hmm. That's what you could have. That's in the time frame you had. Right, right. We just want to look good. Right. right. So you guys look good, but these folks are wearing like furs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they'll have canes and all sorts of accoutrements that are really wealthy. And they're all different backgrounds. Like Higarans wear a lot of silk, mm -hmm. right? And the Basilorians don't use silk. Um, Basilorians have a lot of furs and stuff like that. But yeah, it's 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 about conspicuous consumption. Yeah, but I bet you they're not wearing an elemental bone chest piece. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not. And they're and there's not they're not gith and they're they're not gith or goblins. Or and in fact, like as soon as like a, a really tall, thin dude and a, a red-skinned person is one thing, because that's still like humanoid. But copper and big cat, like it's a fucking displacer beast. God's sake! <laughs> like when you guys show Again, up, this hat, um, and you can see as you guys are walking down the street, you can see this yeah. huge hotel, mm -hmm. and you're in a nice part of town, and it and people are looking at you. And like people like getting out of the litters, um, they'll get out and they'll look at the porters and the porters are like, and the people getting out of the litter will be like, what? Good Lord. <laughs> right. Uh, and they'll like scurry, scurry in. Like, let's get inside. Let's get inside. quick. And you enter, I assume. And the foyer is no expense has been spared to impress upon you that no expense has been spared. <laughs> right. So there's, 
um, palm trees growing in here, mm -hmm. right? Everything's gold and uh, like a uh, gold. Um, I don't want to say gold plated. Everything's made of gold and sandstone. And everyone who works here is dressed like a Kamaran, like somebody from the infinite desert. And that is, they are, they're bald and the concierge, and some of them have like a ponytail and there's, um, there's like a, uh, a desk. Like it's a, it's like a modern hotel. And there's a concierge that'll check you in. And the concierge is, uh, looks like he came from the infinite desert. He has this deep copper skin and he's got, uh, he doesn't have the, he doesn't, uh, look like he's ethnically Kemaran, uh, but he has, he's, he's wearing makeup. Mm -hmm. He's wearing like the, the crazy, uh, makeup that they wear there, this heavy rouge and eye makeup and stuff. Uh, and there's a lot of people in this, uh, coming and going from the for you. It's huge. Is it like tall too? Is it like yeah? No, yeah. It's it's like there's it's, palm trees it's, in there too. There's so. it, there's palm trees. It's also the top of there's a dome at the top, okay. uh, which is not strictly speaking authentic uh, architecture for mm -hmm. that region, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of um, these square holes going through the dome that let light in. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's 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 getting close to uh, early evening, so the light is kind of thin and orangey. Uh, but yeah, there's still a lot of light and air. There's a lot of air flowing through here. The floor is very expensive tiled. Um, it's a, a fresco. It's like a, mm -hmm. it's like this piece of art. That is a well annotated player's handbook. Have people seen your player's handbook, Anna? Jeez, I don't know. Have people seen I this? haven't until now. Oh my god. Yeah. It's not producer, all the producer. Tabs. What happens when a producer plays D&D? &D? Everything's alphabetized. <laughs> <laughs> I, hear Jerry, I hear Jerry laughing. I will tell you that that is a very effective. Like I, there are times when I want to look something up, mm -hmm. and grabbing Anna's player's handbook means that I am able to find it really quickly. Uh, when did so, you do that? All, all of it was right after I rolled Roll, all oh, the d20s on your desk. I was gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> not funny. Uh, so yeah, the the. Uh, sorry, I've got a lot of notes in front of me. I can just see Matt like walking around the office when nobody's looking, yeah. <laughs> giggling, <laughs> rolling their dice. <clears throat> I feel that. it. I feel. It. I would feel it in my heart. If yeah. That happened. I would wake up in bed. And... <laughs> 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 I did. I did roll. I did. I did. I can. I put my hand up like this. Tom can. Yeah. I did roll Tom's dice a couple of weeks ago just to try him out, and then he they rolled like shit. Oh, oh no! <laughs> they were the copper dice. They were the, the copper, copper dice. And he's like, "This what? What is going on here?" Anyway, I that's not the role you tuned in to watch. You, you want to watch us play D&D. &D. No, <laughs> enough of this gay banter. Um, so, let me, uh, no, I'm not so you guys are reasonably well-dressed. And so so what are you what are you going to do with Big Cat? What are you going to do with this this fucking displacer beast in my in my city that I built from scratch, Tom? And you're going to drag this gonna giant six I'm gonna like the fucking salt. I'm going to wreck it. I'm going <laughs> to wreck it. I'm going to wreck your city. I'm going to wreck your city, man. Um, <laughs> what kind of world builder are you? You didn't take into account fucking displacer beast yeah. walking around. Yeah, yeah so going to put squares I, of dynamite everywhere. Uh, <laughs> I imagine. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they have a stables or something. I, one I of the uh, porters. Asks um, politely mm. if he could take Sir's mount. Oh, where are you going to take this? We have um, stables. Um, maybe you well. should go with him. Yeah, that's fine. Eat well I don't think tonight. Big Cat's going to listen. I don't think I even want to be separated from. Um, I'll go with you. Check it out. I'm, I'm sure. I, I assure you, sir, it's perfectly safe. Oh, it's I, not. It's not because of that. Uh, what manner of beast is this? Might I ask? Um, You're talking to somebody who is looks like looks like uh, an ancient Egyptian just teleported out from like a Disney movie, right? He's wearing he's like no one else on the street is dressed like this. By the way, just only people who work cat. here, only people who work here are out there like this. Hmm? Just your standard cat. It's just your, <laughs> it's your, standard, it's just your cat. standard cat. Just your standard cat. What manner of beast? He does that. He does uh, ask, "What manner of beast is this, sir?" Um, I mean, I assume it's a cat. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it is, it is a very, it's a very, he tries to be polite. He's like, yeah. it's a very remarkable choice, sir. Yeah. Thank well, you. I fed, it, I fed it well, so yeah. I grew up big and strong. Well, if you, if you'd like to accompany me to the stables, uh, just to, just to, you know, you're not the, you're not the first person 
as strange as this is, this guy just, it's not, this is me speaking. Uh, as strange as this is, you're not the first person to want to make sure that their mount was well treated and want to inspect yeah. the stables. So he's yeah. perfectly happy to take you around to the side. Um, okay. Because there are, uh, there are people who stay here like just overnight and then they go to the city proper because they, it's like, we just spent this all this time <clears throat> on a boat. I don't want to spend hours in the city. I just want to go to a nice hotel. And they have their mount with them because the streets here are probably too narrow oh. to really use mounts on. But that's not true in Capital. In Capital, there are horses. Okay, people riding. Right so, yeah, this is... Yeah. So he's perfectly happy to lead you to the stables. And there are some... I'm trying to think if there's anything exotic here besides just horses. I don't think there is. Um, but there are stables of different sizes. And there are lots of people working in the stables. Are there any there's dog one. dog mounts? No, nah, not not currently, but there are small stables as though something like a halfling's a halfling's mount, whatever that might be. A tiny horse. Yeah, exactly. They're so cute. Wait, ponies aren't baby horses? Sorry. Tiny horse. There was a Reddit thread about what didn't what stuff didn't you know? And the one of the top answers was I did not know that ponies were not just small horses. That no. they're like another breed of horse that never get and the response after that was somebody going, What? <laughs> was, that, was that your that was response? that was my that was what I said when I read that I'm like wait ponies aren't I thought a pony was just a small horse no false that's a different, different breed well, are, a pony they, is a small horse it, no correct it's not a baby I thought it was yeah, I thought, I thought that uh, all ponies grew up to be big horses <laughs> <laughs> yeah also uh, our mutual friend Jason was angry at me when I said that I had never seen a horse like in person like mm -hmm. apart from being in my car at a stop sign at Knott's Berry Farm when the, when they apart from that that's it and he's like. He didn't believe me. He well, just, you grew up in the wild. Yeah, okay, well, I, yeah. On the prairies. I grew up, I grew up, I grew up in suburbia. Uh, anyway, enough about me. <laughs> what were we talking about? Yeah, so, that, I mean, are you committed to, like, staying with your cat? Your cat will do what you tell it. Yeah, okay. So, like, well, cat, I, I didn't know if I could, cat, like... Well, you can... I mean, okay. the, the, big, big cat will do what you tell it, and it might not enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's you know, it's right. it is smart. Oh. It's... Well, I, I think I haven't looked at you have the displacer beast. Yeah, what do you let me see for? the displacer beast uh, okay. info. It's gotta be at least as smart as a horse, right? Uh, well, it's got a, an int of six, mm -hmm. which is like as an int That's of six pretty. is like as smart as a dumb human. Yeah. Yeah. Chimpanzee. Right? Uh, so, and I think that's probably smarter than a dog. I think a dog is gonna be like a three or four. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm not an expert on <laughs> right now at the top of my head. I couldn't tell you yeah. what a dog's intelligence was in D&D. But uh, it's it's smart and it's it's loyal. It's twice well, as smart. I, I, it might not like it. Yeah, I, I'll talk to it and I pull some you know some snacks from from my pouch and okay. You tell it stay. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay. I'll I'll be back just for a short while. Don't eat the horses. Don't eat. It, don't yeah yeah. Don't eat anything. Uh, the other horses are no, they don't like this, <laughs> and so they lead they lead they show you where Big Cat is going to be staying. Mm -hmm. It's a wide uh, berth. It's it's a and it's got there's a. And it's for a horse, but it's for a big horse. Yeah. And it's away from the other horses. It's not really busy. There aren't a ton of animals here. There is probably 16 different stalls. And only three of them are occupied right now. Okay. Kind of reminds you of uh, back when you were on looking at the jail cells on the Somnium Tenebris. Mm. Like the same kind of layout, right? Uh, except instead of a gith and a mind flayer, there's a... Horse, uh, there's horses <laughs> uh and the horses you can hear the horses don't like it and the the, the yeah. groom is like don't worry we'll, we'll take care of the horses uh and there and the groom the, so the porter has led you here but there's a groom there's a, a guy who's in charge of the stables and he is just amazed at big cat mm. like everyone else freaks out not this guy this guy's like oh come here you big beauty and wants to <laughs> pet big cat um does big cat like him did he try and pet him right now He'll try to, yeah, okay. he'll definitely, well, he's going to be, he's going to be the one taking care of the cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's definitely going to like. You got to her like this. She likes. Like, oh, right, yeah. Right there, right yeah and, and Big Cat is, you know, like, this guy's got a natural and it's, it's his job to be good with animals. Oh. Uh, so Big Cat tolerates it. Uh, and, and he'll lead Big Cat into the stall, open the stall. And Big Cat kind of does this one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. Like, kind of like settles down makes a little bowl yeah in the hay. big cat's had a long day by yeah the way. yeah uh as i think all i think we all have yeah so big cat is happy to just take a nap here and uh we'll let you know sir uh we'll sir be staying uh we'll be staying here yeah so we'll, we'll let you know uh, i mean in the stables i'll be staying here oh you will be wait what no. nothing um <laughs> we'll, we'll let you know if there's any problems with your uh okay. Does does Sir's mount have any special dietary needs? Fish, meat. fish, 
Easy. E quite easily acquired. Lots of fish. Lots of fish. Yeah. Well, it is a it is a very big cat. <laughs> it is a very big cat. Uh so are do you want to stay with Big Cat or I'm gonna, gonna go, go back to the I'm gonna hotel? go back okay. for now. Okay. But I but I wanna Big Cat does not seem to put up a fuss. Like okay. once you like Big Cat's happy to just be like All right. All right. Um you know, Take who knows? Who know, there are three horses here now. Who knows how many it'll be in the morning? Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> so a copper comes back uh, now, m- mountless, catless. Mm-hmm. Uh, Looking like a million bucks. I feel weird right now. Do you want like bow like it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cowboy <do> you, legs. <laughs> how do you use these things? Um, <laughs> My twigs. <laughs> it's definitely weird because because on. On Big Cat, Copper is probably the tallest of anybody in the group. Oh, yeah. Right, because Big Cat is it. Big Cat's uh, it's big. Yeah, it's well named. It's well named. Big well named. There's two things you need to know about Big Cat. First, he's big. Second, he's a cat. Uh, and so it's weird to see Copper go right. from being um, maybe a, maybe apart from Slim, maybe he's the same height as Slim to oh, now wow. by far the shortest and smallest. Huh. How how tall are you? Uh, without. Yeah, just on uh, your own. I wrote down something short. Like, are you Probably like, like three, would you, yeah, would that be as tall as the, how tall are nine year olds? Three feet? They're uh, three times taller than a three year old. Okay. Okay, <laughs> got it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, don't laugh, don't laugh at my jokes. Uh, it's not, that's no, not, that's, don't feet. encourage me. <laughs> about, about half. I'm gonna post that one on Twitter. Table. Yeah, whatever that height is. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so yeah, short. Yeah. Yeah. But big top hat, big top, big top hat, hat. Adds up right, his, right. Yeah. That adds head. extra. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, the concierge is. Um, it, it, this is probably going to be a like going to require some skill checks to get this guy to. Uh, he sees you coming from kind of a mile away, and he's like, "Welcome, welcome to the Pharaoh's dream. How can we help you?" Uh, we'd like to book five adjacent rooms, please. Um, and did Sir have a? Uh, how long was Sir intending on staying? Chain sign beneath the desk. Two days. Yeah, we'll say three. Di- we'll say three days. Well, remember that you guys are in like in three weeks. You got your clothes are going to show up. Yeah, but we're going to let them know where we. Okay. Go. All right. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me, sir. I, uh, classic miscount. Uh, we, we only need four rooms for three nights. I see. Well, he kind of leans over to look down at Copper. He's like, will your son be staying with you? <laughs> uh, yes, he will. Uh, I share a room with this guy. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I the monocle on now. <laughs> <laughs> we got two of them, right? Daddy. <laughs> so just kind of awkwardly pat copper on the back. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> I think you got any uh, uh, I'm so distracted right now. Yeah. I don't remember what's supposed to be happening. Um, uh, we'll see you next and week. What, how, how, no, well, actually, we, the, we should the, take a break. This guy with the monocle. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh yeah, no. Exactly. By the way, by the I'm way, not, you are 100 yeah. able to get a monocle. Oh, I did. You're 100 okay. able to get a monocle okay. if you're if you're serious about it. I am, but it's going to cost you like 10 gold. That's fine. And That's you're going to have you're going to have this experience of like they they're not they're, they're actually I, I I take it back. Like there are goblins in the city. Okay. There are goblins in the city, and so it's not like it's not, not like nice. holy crap, what the fuck is that? Yeah. The attitude you get from the tailor from the porters is more like, why is there a goblin here though? Ah. Uh. Right, so it's not like, oh my god, there's a monster here. It's more like, don't you guys have your own city somewhere, like underground or something? Uh, whatever. Well, it must be the similar for Drow, right? The layers, yes. Oh, like similar, similar reaction. I would well, think. you saw a goblin actually kind of having this oh, yeah. heated, heated uh, argument yeah. as with a yeah. frost giant. Yeah. But they seem to kind of be like, um, like uh, colleagues or whatever. Yeah. They don't look as good as me right now. Um, yeah. So, Nobody does copy. <laughs> yeah. and, and and what types of rooms were Sir interested in? Uh, Meaning, the he's asking like, with a bath, penthouse. All, sir, all of our rooms come with an adjoining uh, water. He doesn't. He's like a water tub. Is tub short for something? 
Bathroom. Tubathy? I could just call it a bath, right? A bath? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like if there's a more jargony way of saying it. Mm. Uh, but yeah, Mason. he says all of he says all of our rooms come with a bath and it serves request your um each of everybody everybody here gets assigned like a servant, basically. That's included in the cost. And they'll come and they'll make sure that when you want to take a bath, there's hot water. They don't have, obviously they don't have running water, that's ridiculous. But they will come and they'll provide hot water and uh, they'll you know, that's just normal part of fancy hotel here. Uh, so, sir, all of our, sir, will be glad to learn that all of the rooms at the Pharaoh's Dream. Oh, by the way, the sign of the Pharaoh's Dream, it says the Pharaoh's Dream on the sign, which is something that's uh, uh, in this reality unique to capital. Like most most signs, in like all signs in Black Bottom are just, there's no words on it. It's a just picture. a picture. Yeah. Right, but here it actually says the Pharaoh's dream, and there's kind of you know that um, that the mask of Tutankhamun, that's what it looks like, except the eyes are closed and there are stars around him. Is uh, the font papyrus? The font is not papyrus. That would be very gauche. <laughs> <laughs> that would be no. It's not. Had no. to ask. No, it's not. No, no, it's not Comic Sans. It's not papyrus. Um. Now, the tactical stream, not getting a lot of... Oh, hey, by the way, uh, yeah. Jerry, can you hear me? Yes. Did did we try out... I know you said you were interested in it, but I, it seems probably ambitious to try it tonight. Isn't, did Twitch roll out that um, thing? Squad? They did. The restriction is everyone has to be a partner. Ah, uh, not just... Oh, our second stream. One. So Twitch, for those of you, if there's, if there's anybody watching... <laughs> there's anybody out there. I'm, so, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if there's anybody watching, uh, Twitch has a new function which lets multiple streamers all kind of jump into some kind of simul stream. Hmm. So you could be watching any one of their different streams and get the kind of... I don't really know a lot about it. Jerry's looking into it, but it might be the kind of thing that makes our... Hey, everybody, we have a second stream, by the way, so you can see the battle a lot easier. I don't think it's going to get a lot of play tonight. We'll see. Depends on how late we play. Uh, it depends on how mean they are to the concierge. You never know. There'll be no battle at all. Uh, so yeah, I mean they have they have, you know, several different classes of room, going from like four gold a night to ten gold a night. What's ten gold get you? A penthouse, like a suite. It's like an apartment, basically. <clears throat> it's like an apartment, and and your servant is there the whole time. Like your 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 like uh, your servant is gonna come and like knock on your door in the morning, and make sure you, make sure you get woken up. Right, and your servant is the one who's going to take your order and make sure that you have the food that you want. Uh, but like they're they're going to visit at certain times of the day and check in on you. But if you got the penthouse, they're just they're, they're just they're, there constantly. Yep, oh. yep, and they uh, they will they will. Well, you'll see what happens if you get a penthouse. Hmm. One penthouse, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One penthouse, please. Uh, well, I want one too. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So make a make a who's who's talk who's 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 doing the talking? Uh, Ned, get us a <laughs> penthouse, the, please. He, so, he, yeah, he, so you so you. Can, <laughs> I love that your that this is copper. Yeah. like being like. Well, he said something. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, he's like, hey, dad. Yeah. Hey, dad. <laughs> <laughs> With a monocle. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, dad. Your boy <laughs> wants a penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, that's deep voice. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, anyway, sorry. So, uh, so he kind of he, he he waffles and he's like, "I'm not sure that it'll be it, 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 this with short notice." You didn't book ahead, I assume. Uh, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, actually, I'm not sure how you would do that. You would probably do you have a website? Send a servant. No, yeah, website. you would do. You, you would traditionally like. You would use like a diplomat's pouch and use a servant, and a lot of the nobles that stay here have have agents in the city. Um, Aren't you not allowed to use magic? Like casting spells, like, oh. and these guys have they have plenty of licenses. They have they're all caught up on their licenses. Uh, they're up to code. Yeah, they are hundred uh, percent. He's like it, um, he's like he, he he actually he actually looks at the five of you and is like. Mm, sir, it might be difficult at sh such short notice to get uh, five adjoining penthouse rooms. Four. Four adjoining penthouse rooms. Perhaps, sir, would be happier with something 
more on the ground floor toward the back of the hotel. Dang. <clears throat> uh, is there any, is there any way I could persuade you to uh, perhaps check the uh, check the ledgers a second time? Well, what is Sir implying? Uh, well, you know, I could. Uh, this is uh, this is a business that runs on uh, runs on gold. I will assure you, sir, that we are well supplied in that department. Can I talk to him? Can I say something? Yeah. That lean in. <laughs> I didn't think very long about what I was going to okay. say. <laughs> <laughs> <You're being dramatic. laughs> I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to act it out. You can make a check if you just want to like negotiate. But uh, okay, I think I think you said something along the lines of a uh, like. I'm a marquee, and you're going to double check and make sure you can get us some penthouses. And that's going to be intimidation. Go ahead. Yeah, you're pretty intimidating. You have a forked tongue. 29. 29? Yeah. Damn. Jeez. So, I mean, this is not, this is, I, actually, um, no, yeah, it is, a, it is a supernatural ability, right? In the sense that you have, you have, you have unearthly intimidation. That's what forked tongue gets you. Um, and uh, so there's a, there's a, it's not magic. But there is a overpowering force of character coming off of Judge when he turns this ability on, right? And you can all you you've seen it. Oh well, you you haven't seen it, um, but you guys you guys have seen it many times before, and it's like holy crap. Uh, and yeah, it it works on the guy. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, he's like, oh, I'm I, I beg your pardon, sir. I was not um, I was not I was not aware of your noble heritage. Please pray forgive me. Uh, we will ensure that uh, sirs get the rooms uh, that they have asked for. Just give us just give us a few moments to get the rooms prepared. Make it quick. We've already been waiting too long. And thank you. Thank uh, you very much. Uh, a twenty nine, right? So yeah, he's he's super interested in helping you. Your discount out. ask Come on. makes you wait that long. Look, the prices mm -hmm. are the prices. <clears throat> uh, Speak to his manager. I almost brought, dropped that in, but I figured we'll just try this first. He brings out he brings out a ledger and asks you each to sign, like checking. Mm. Ow. Yeah. Will sirs be requiring anything uh, during your stay? It is my pleasure. You know what to do? <laughs> uh, to uh, <laughs> no, I do my. Yeah. Like, he does uh, Jellic, the just pretend like everyone else. The whole the captain oh, okay. of the. <laughs> he writes it in GIF, uh, but okay. <laughs> there was a really fucking cool. Like if hey by the way, those of you watching at home, a brief announcement: uh, Strongholds and Followers is now available on Fantasy Grounds, and uh, it's taken as long as it's taken because I'm a busy dude, and there were a whole there were many steps in the process that I should have uh, gotten to earlier, and I didn't. I apologize, my fault entirely. Uh, the folks at Fantasy Grounds were super cool, and I quite like Fantasy Grounds. I've used it many times, and. One of the things I liked about it, we were using 4th edition, was that you could decide to speak, it, you could, in chat, you could speak in your language. Like, I don't know if they had GIF, mm -hmm. but they might have. Mm -hmm. They definitely had, like, Infernal. You could say, you could do a slash Infernal and then speak something, mm -hmm. press return, and the other players, you know, connected to the game, if their character sheet said they spoke Infernal, they saw what you said in English. Otherwise, it was in a unique script. There was like oh, the infernal cool. script. Huh. They had different scripts for Elvish and Dwarvish and Infernal. That's right. And it was really cool. Like that's just a tiny little detail that I just thought when I saw that I was like, "This is cool." It's mad. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, and it does a whole bunch of like uh, automated stuff like that, where it checks your character sheet and goes, "Up, oh, yep, you can, you understand this." Um, so yeah, Strongholds and Followers is available. Um, and there were people on, this is kind of more for a Twitch chat or a campaign diary. There were people on the subreddit who were like, it's the same price as the regular book. And I'm pretty sure that we could have charged less for it. But I honestly, honestly was so busy that I never got around to doing that work. So we'll see what happens with the next book. We may be able to do something with the next book. Uh, but again, my fault. Uh, so actually now is probably a good time for you guys to take a break. They're going to... They're gonna get your rooms prepared, but they're also he, the, this. This guy wants to know if there's, and we can think. You guys can think about this <clears> while we're <throat> eating some healthy snacks. <clears throat> uh, if there's anything you guys want, imagine the concierge that like he can get you tickets to shows. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not a lot of that kind of thing in the stays, right? The stuff in the stays tends to be mostly tourist trappy, because this is where this. But then 
he can he doesn't know what your plans are. He he but he an alchemist. Yeah. Let uh let us know if anybody comes to speak with us. Certainly, sir. Yes, absolutely. Uh, is there is there an anticipation of receiving a message? Yes. Does does he know who we? Are? Well, I guess we tell him who we are or something. Or hmm? do you, well. Oh, the, that do we, was did, the chain. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if that matters. Mm-hmm. I think we probably should because we're expecting I mean, we have to, people. Yeah. We assume people are going to go talk to us. I mean, mm-hmm, I'm yeah. sure we've done things like this before. The whole point of being here is kind of like right. being broadcasting them. Notice, here, right? Yeah. Sir is not the first. Sir is, sir is not the first high-ranking generals to stay. Oh, Next. really? Who else have you had? He he lists uh, like he lists uh, a couple of Vasalorian dukes who are mm-hmm. like uh, those guys are basically like kings. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, he I, Matt doesn't know off the top of his head, but yeah, he lists great commanders at a state. Yeah, it's very impressive. Uh, he says, uh, uh, he, and, and, and he just throws out, he's like, uh, Ajax stayed here when he was a young man before he uh began his study at the university. Hmm. What is he up to these days? I, it's my understanding that he's he's uh gone on to great things. <clears throat> He's wonderful. We hope someday to okay. have him back. I don't know. We kind of heard he was a wiener. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a wiener name. All right, folks. We're going to take a break. Uh, ten or so minutes, and then we will come back and see what happens. More adventures at the Pharaoh's Dream. Do you have to hit the button for the break? Oh, I have to hit the button for the break. Start break! Start break! We're back! It just worked. Jerry says, worked. "If I press the button, it will just it will just work." Um, so, well, thanks for sticking around, folks. Uh, this is the point at which we like to hang out for a few minutes and check out the fan art that people have created. We are it's kind of ridiculous how um, we're literally just a bunch of nerds sitting around playing D anD D in what I think of as being a pretty typical manner. And in spite, oh, there was oh. A little, in, in spite of that. In spite of that, there's some some people that engage with the content and just make some extraordinary stuff. And before we roll the fan art, like, can you folks see this flag? Like, holy crap! Like, uh, where's the letter from? So we got two actual things that people sent us, both of which are pretty cool. Uh, this one of which is amazing. This is from Adelaide. There it is. And yeah, and this oh, this this is the it's a banner. It's like a legit banner. The I mean, Adelaide you are the standard sewed, like yes. made. Like that's handmade. That thing is handmade. And when I saw that, first of all, when I saw that I was blown away. I was like, "Oh my god, it's beautiful. Like we should go to a show and carry that around." Yeah, that's like, yeah. yeah. We should go to like Pax Unplugged or something and you'll know, you'll know where Matt is cuz he's literally carrying the show. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh so and then the fact, yeah. the fact that anybody made it at all is amazing to me. And then the fact that it was I, I don't know how else you would do it, but yeah, the fact that it was handmade completely blew my mind. Yeah. So thank you very much, Adelaide. That is uh that is that is crazy. And uh, I have six of these little guys here. Let's see if we can get a shot for on the tactical stream. Uh, oh, we had a battle. On the last thing, huh? you know, yeah. Uh, Adelaide is in the chat. Oh. As Myrtle Turtle. Myrtle Turtles. Like I don't know what I honestly, genuinely have no idea what we did to deserve something that amazing. <laughs> it's awesome. But that is that is cooler. That banner. Forgive me for saying this. That banner might be cooler than our stream. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, it is. It is. <laughs> and now, unfortunately, thanks uh, to one of our viewers, uh, thanks to Chuck, I, I think the chain's going to have to fight some more Ooh. giant spider riding Spiders. Bogar because I've now got six nice. of these giant spiding, spiding? giant spider, spider riding Dwagar. 3D printed, uh, and I was like, well, now people send them in. Look at those guys. This is probably a bad precedent to send. If you send if you send me painted minis, I'm probably going to use them know. against the heroes. <laughs> 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 but I, it's super in, it's super inspiring and incentivizing, and yeah. Uh, so thank you very much, Chuck. This is super cool. Uh, I'm constantly amazed. Like I, I I I feel like we live in an age of miracles, and people don't really understand or take for granted. Like like you can just make this stuff. You can yeah. a, 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 a relatively normal person 
can 3D model something and then go send it off to Shapeways or get a 3D printer and just make stuff. And so like, yeah, we're, in a, we're definitely in a golden age of content creation. <laughs> so we also get tons of fan art. Actually, for me, it's way more to keep, way more than, how do I get back to the, there we go. <laughs> it's often way more than I can keep up with. And uh, so, so one of the things we like doing is showing off the fan art and getting everybody's reaction to it. So some of the stuff I have seen, some of the stuff I'm sure I haven't. Uh, so we're curious to see what comes up. That's just, that's just Hannah Cat. <laughs> just your, you know, get another fucking classic line from Tom. Uh, I love coffee space. <laughs> yeah. I, I was just looking down at it, I'm like, what? Yeah. What? Well, the cat's cat. This is oh, amazing. Yeah. So we've oh, seen earlier part. Like, and I love the fact that, like, I did not know that this was going to be the chain of Acheron that arrived in Capital. I didn't yeah. know. He's, I didn't know what was going to happen after Nails. I didn't know what was going to happen. He's after, gone. Oh, it's, oh, king. King. it's King. It's King. Look at that pauldron. Yep. That's cool. That's dope. The lightning light sword. Oh, yeah, lightning. Yep. Yeah. yep. And the sigil on his shoulder. Manos. Is it MCDM? MCDM. <laughs> cool. This I, I loved. This I oh, saw. This is great. Yeah, oh. this is the chase I think scene. This is, like, I'm right about to get smacked in the face with that <laughs> yeah. hammer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can see oh, Big Cat and Copper the arrow. jumping yeah. over. Yeah. The, I love that. That There's chase another... scene worked pretty well. Oh, these are great. <laughs> yes. These are great. I don't like this. <laughs> it's a thankless job. I also, look at the great. I just love like the kind of cute. cartoon yeah. copper. He's so yeah. adorable. Yeah. Oh, oh, just his air cat. It's too cute. Like that's. <laughs> Whoa. It's blue. Oh, hey, it's blue. I have not seen this. Whoa. Seen her dead either. wife. <laughs> I haven't seen that. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, now I think blue. Oh, is that, I see. I thought she was telling us she missed us. No, that's why yeah. we were in the house. Yep. Was... She misses. us. Oh, what, what do you mean? We saved her. her. <laughs> this is Moon Bros. Yeah, I, I like Moon Bros. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious to know like what happened to blue. Like, Is she going to just... Uh, I think she's just going to... I don't know if she, you guys didn't really go out of your way to try to like recruit <laughs> Marky Tabasco. Tabasco. <laughs> what is it? Marky it's, it's Marky Tabasco. Marky yeah, Tabasco. It's, <laughs> it's the Marky Tabasco. He would have you flogged for that. <laughs> yeah, this is oh, great. This is yeah. great. The, uh, the, the chain OD. reaction. <laughs> uh, oh, we have the <laughs> first OD fan art. Yeah. Even yeah. though it's just over the shoulder. It's his exact posture. The way I'm looking at boots right now, I'm just like, I wish I was boots. <laughs> this is really cool. I love this stuff. Whoa. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is the little ceremony where everybody threw the. Yeah, this oh, is great. This is awesome. Yeah, people like this. Punch it slim. <laughs> this is okay. I, I really like this uh, <laughs> that kind of montage. So yeah, this is Dude. an artist's interpretation of two shoes. Mm -hmm. And it. just the, one of the the person who drew this just had this imagined that if you're a if you're a phaedron, this is what belongs to me. Get your own. <laughs> oh my god, is the car more yeah. awesome. I like that notion that two <laughs> that two shoes probably has to deal with a lot of crap because she's she's a uh -huh. uh, phaedron just like Ajax. Mm -hmm. And oh, it's us. Oh, we're back. I like that Slim's just yeah. grabbing with his hand. It's not like, a sticker. What do I do with this? Carbol like running down the floor. Yeah. It's perfect. He's never so, had caramel. He didn't know it was sticky. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I remember the first time I had a caramel apple, I was like a teenager. Mm. I was like, these are amazing. I would eat them all the time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But the first caramel sausage you had. Yeah, well, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Blimey. That's Blimey. Blimey. <laughs> I'll give you a, I'll give you a caramel sausage. Because I, I have a sneaking suspicion that it's awesome. No, I mean, I definitely, yeah, you put syrup on. It's like sweet meat. You put syrup on sausage, it tastes great. The Halloween yeah. treat. I'm sure it's yeah. great. Halloween. Yeah, that is what we're giving away. If you Ooh. come and do trick or treat. We're dunking for boiled sausages. We're going to give away. We're going to give away. Caramel sausages. Caramel sausages. Uh, so you guys are at the Pharaoh's Dream, which is the best hotel in the stays. And the concierge, thanks to judge announcing his uh, his noble heritage and the fact that he is legitimately a nobleman from hell, uh, has quite changed the concierge's attitude toward the motley group of pretty well dressed people in front of him. <laughs> so uh, at, Lars was asking about this. This is an opportunity for you guys to do downtime stuff. But don't worry too much about, like, you don't have to come up with something to do, and you don't have to worry about, uh, tell me if you want to do something. The concierge will figure out uh, where is the best place to do it, and if it's possible. And then I will probably scurry away and figure out what are the actual mechanics of going and doing that thing. And it may take weeks, right? Uh, and that could just be something that happens. You can tell me offline, you can tell me in chat, or whatever. But I know that King, there's a church here. There are, there's a, there are local churches in the stays for every, almost every region in Basloria. Uh, there's not not every god from that region, right? So there's probably one church to Adun or Kaval in 
the stays, and that's the only church from Vaslori in the area. But uh, but there is one. So there is a church, and it is a Hagar and God, and it is the God you serve. So in your downtime, if you want to go over there and say, hey, how do I get a magic license? That's your best <clears> chance. <throat> and, uh, and the concierge, you like you probably already know that. So you don't need the concierge for that. He'll just tell you where the church is. But the concierge, by the way, whose name is uh, Nebkare, the concierge will be happy to kind of anything you folks need or want, let him know, and he will do his best to accommodate you. Uh, otherwise, he will have, it takes about half an hour for you guys to get your rooms. And uh, you notice that other people come in and book rooms, and they seem to get their rooms right away. But after half an hour, a uh, porter comes down and asks to escort you to your rooms. And uh, the the penthouse the, at, their, at the fifth level, and they're like apartments, right? There's um, there there are several different rooms, and there is a there's each one of them has a Kamaran looking uh, person, usually in their late teens, early twenties, that is that kind of belongs to the room, and is eager to help you with your clothes, get things washed, wants to know if you plan on dining in your room. If you plan on dining in one of the restaurants, there's four different restaurants in the hotel. Um, she eat in the restaurants. Mm-hmm. What are the restaurants? They're nice. <clears throat> okay. What kind of food do they serve? Uh, there's one that's Riohan. There's one that's uh, Kamharan. And then there are two that are kind of like, I don't know how, we, how they would describe it, but they are uh, food from more than one region in the world. There's one that's a seafood. It's all all just seafood from uh, from because like there's a ton of fishing done in and around capital, and in fact there's like a whole there's, there's a whole region like consider like Western Europe there's a whole region uh, that is fed by the fisheries from capital, mm-hmm. and there's a fourth one. Let's get some seafood. Uh, let's let's go to the Riohan one because the people coming down from capital. I was thinking they got to have the best Kamar in food, right? Because it's the Pharaoh's dream. But I mean, my vote goes to Riohan food. It's been a long time. Notes, notes, notes. Oh, hey, there's actually a, uh, I have a thing. <laughs> Mom has a thing. We're going to the Riohan place. <clears throat> there's a menu. Mm. Uh, a menu? There is. There's a menu. The prices are all wrong. <laughs> Did you actually make a menu? Yeah. Nice. Well, I, I wrote down what you can get. Mm. Um, and, uh, and and how much it costs. Smoked, smoked salmon salad. There's uh, beef and ginger and cinnamon. Stuffed mushrooms with thyme, cream cheese. There's a bunch of stuff. It's all really rich, expensive food. Um Nothing, nothing eventful. You guys, you guys are, if you come down to, so if you guys are arriving in early evening, uh, your, each of your, uh, they're called body servants. Each of your body servants is eager to make sure that you are, you feel refreshed and wants to know if you want appointments for, uh, dinner and they'll coordinate between, cause your rooms are all kind of adjacent to each other. And each of there's, if there are four rooms, each pair of rooms are connected. So you can't get from room A to room D, we can get from A to B and C from C to D. <clears throat> um, and why did it take so long? We're not. Play, we're gonna, we're gonna ask that too. I, I, I'll ask one of the. I'll ask uh, Slim's manservant. Um, he's 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 like he's kind of super like holy crap! It's an alien, <laughs> right? So he's doing his best to kind of maintain. Maintain his composure around this otherworldly being, mm-hmm. and he's like, "They're, sir, they're, they're they're probably just not used to serving, just not used to finding accommodations for a man of your imposing stature." Mm. Yeah, that's what he says. <clears throat> uh, you guys are able to go down to dinner, have dinner. It's a, it's a, it's a it, it, expensive but uh, really rich meal, and it's still hotel food. Mm-hmm. Right, even though it's a really nice place, so you're kind of overpaying. 
mm-hmm. but they do have a, a you know a notorious chef and there's you guys get a lot of looks but nobody nobody like um gives you any attitude you guys stand out, but you are you're you're doing the work for it. You earn the yeah. you got the you got the clothes. And like I said, you're not the first kind of military guys that stay here. Right. Uh the day is gonna pass uneventfully. Okay. You guys are able to go back. spend the night here, uh, guests of the Pharaoh's dream. I go um I'm gonna go back to the stables to sleep. Is okay. That, is that is it is it locked or can I use? No, nope. it's open twenty four hours a day. I take off People my come and go. I take off my uh, fancy clothes so it doesn't get too stinky. Before coming. Okay, so you go. So you go. Are, are you staying with boots? No, with big cat. You're staying. No, I mean, but like, where are you gonna? When you say okay, fine. Yeah. Sorry, go yeah. for it. No, Just no, it's no, naked I'm, in the stable. No, yeah. like when you say I'm gonna, when you say I'm gonna take off, you're, you're change clothes. Uh, yeah. Some rash you got. You're like, yeah. yeah. Uh, you just don't want to sleep in your. Clothes. I don't want to sleep in my fancy clothes. clothes. Yeah. Fair enough. I, and I put in my old my old one. And... Are they just stored in the stables? Is that what that's what I'm asking? Like, where, oh, are, you, I got where are you keeping your stuff? Um, I should you... probably keep it um, with someone so it doesn't. Well, they'll have to come and get me. You have your dad's key card to the room, obviously. Yeah, do I have, <laughs> do I have dad's card? <laughs> um, you guys do have keys. Okay. Yeah, you'll have a key. Do I have, okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll store it in the in the. The keys are uh, all non-stick. also they're like uh, souvenirs. Okay. Get mm. Okay. I'll keep it in a non-stinky room. Oh, wow! So they change the locks. After. Yeah, they have um, they have they have people on staff that make special keys really quickly. Hmm. They're sandstone. Slim is going to take advantage of every amenity available to him. In, so in, in these really, rooms. because like a lot of these noblemen <clears throat> are used to being waited on literally hand and foot. Mm-hmm. Like uh, and and like being naked around their servants, mm-hmm. and that's kind of and the servants are like, sure, yeah, like you want to take a bath, that's fine. Mm-hmm. They'll dry you off, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it's it's up to what Slim is used to or what he's willing to. He'll, how far, like he'll give it a go. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, then then it, you are you are severely pampered here, right? Like like this is probably like how the illithids. <laughs> 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 this is how the illithids lived. Like they had uh-huh. slaves. Like right. you, like on the map that you guys have of the Somnium Tenebris, mm-hmm. there are the slave quarters right. th- that are just just for the slaves of the commanders mm-hmm. of the Illithids. So this is kind of that, yeah, but except this guy, I mean, he's it, getting paid. Do you, you assume? Yes. Wow, I'll ask him. Oh yeah, certainly yes, of course. Yeah, no, I've he's he's I'm lucky to have a job, sir. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. My parents said it was a. Uh, my parents said it would be foolish for me to apply here, but you know. Yeah. I don't imagine Slim would tolerate. Slavery. No, I imagine he wouldn't, considering he was one right. for a while. Yeah, no, Probably he does multiple times. Yeah, no, he he um no, yeah, he gets paid. <clears throat> yeah, and he's yeah, he's surprised you asked. He's surprised you took the time to ask. Hmm. Um, is cool. it the next day? It can be. Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm just I just want to know what it is because I gotta go meet Angel at the Apple Merchant. Oh, that's right. Um, you get slipped under your doors. You get a folded piece. You all each get a folded piece of paper. It's large. Uh, hmm. Room service menu? No, it, it's a broadsheet. Oh, uh, nice. Mm-hmm. So we got our eight hours of room. Oh, I, I want to read it. Read toilet. What's it say in there? The Black bottom, bottom sacked, it says across the top. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Trade with Vazloria cut off. It is none if you read the articles. They're much longer than this. I'm just going to give you the headlines and the, mm-hmm. the thesis statement. Just skimming. Mm-hmm. Trade with Vasloria cut off. It is unknown how the Chrysopolis was able to get from Kamar to Western Vasloria. Artifacts gathered from the cities Ajax has plundered may be fueling his incredible power. Mm. Uh, there's another smaller headline that says, Chain bows to stop Ajax. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, we got there. <laughs> Nearly oh. annihilated oh. after a poorly planned assassination attempt, the remains of a once great mercenary company have washed up on the docks of Capital. Where did you get information up? about an assassination attempt? We didn't say anything about that. King, the commanding officer of the chain of Acheron, proclaimed, and then in quotes it says, We took a contract to eliminate Ajax's oh. wizard, but we were betrayed. We intend to find allies here and finish the contract. End quote. The senior officers intend on using the Pharaoh's dream as their headquarters. The origins and backgrounds of the senior officers are shrouded in mystery. King appears to be of Higaran descent. Some say he is an exile, forced into mercenary service after a failed attempt to overthrow the immortal empress. 
The company's ship is an <laughs> illithid mind raider piloted by an enigmatic alien who may have mind control powers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's another headline that's there. There at this point after this one, you get into like local stories about trade and and politics. But this one says city officials divided on Ajax. When asked for comment on recent events, Count, Count Gianna Alvaro said, "We face a serious threat. This self-styled Iron Saint means to bring the entire world under his boot, including capital. We should be offering the immortal Empress aid, but instead we bicker. When all else is lost, in the end, capital will fall just like the rest." End quote. Lady Fausta Minetti, president of the Imperial Bank, speaking on behalf of the fulcrum, was more practical. Quote, everyone agrees the city badly needs leadership. The only question is who and when. What was that name? It says Lady Fausta Minetti, president of the Imperial Bank, speaking mm. on behalf of the fulcrum. Ajax seeks to make the answer simple. Personally, I was never a great fan of the prince and have little interest in who rules. End quote. After a thoughtful pause, it says here, after a thoughtful pause, she added, quote, this city was founded by an emperor. Hmm. And there are more details in each of these stories. They talk about all of you folks in the thing about the chain. And they talk about how, like, there are rumors that the chain <clears throat> is a, a, a mercenary company from hell. What do they say about me? They, they talk about the, the Riohan senior officer who appears to be... They, 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 they accuse you of being a spy. A spy? Yep. Yep. A spy for... They don't know. The, the papers don't know. They're like just being a, a just in general being, a spy. Yeah, probably a yeah. Is a, the apparently acting as the chain's intelligence officer is a, you know. Mm. They make a, there's there's stuff in here. Just made it what up. About, what yeah. about what about the what about me? But there's there's reference to copper and there's reference to judge in here. It's but the co- reference to copper is like the 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 the, the, the chainer it describes how you guys are not a normal mercenary company and how there are creatures from mm. you know there there are all manner of creatures including goblins and and even tieflings. <laughs> Pretty there's goblins and even yeah. Teeth yeah well, there's yeah. like uh, yeah, like they 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 make a, the the story makes a big deal about how there's a tiefling senior officer and there's some there's obviously like coded like the people writing this and the people reading this obviously have an opinion about tieflings, right? But mm-hmm. it's not expressed here; it's just assumed, right? Right. Are you sure it didn't say that there's goblins and even demons? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just to make sure. Demons. Devils. It does. It does say noted for consorting with demons. It does say that. No, it doesn't. It does. Shut up. It does. Just right now. It does. I'm pretty it sure does. as soon as like, Judge reads that bit of it, he's just like, what? It catches on, it catches on fire. Yeah, just, just fucking incinerate too. He's like, slander. Um, <laughs> yeah, so sure that's the... Uh, just like, ah. That's the morning paper you, you guys get. Give me the morning paper. <clears throat> I want to actually rip it up. <laughs> Is there anything else on here? No. <clears throat> <laughs> there are also no uh, there are no bylines. It doesn't say who wrote any of that stuff. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's all right. We know whose knuckles are being broken. So knuckles, monocle. Oh, knuckle. I have a lot of questions for the concierge. Okay. Uh, do you want? Are going to go down and ask him now? Oh, I think. Well, what's the plan? Are we going to get breakfast first and then go meet up at the apple cart with Angel, or are you just doing that? Uh, if you guys want to go, you can. <clears throat> I'm just going to follow up with him, see what he found out. But I think we want to talk to Alvaro. Yeah, but we don't know where that guy's at. That's one of my questions for the concierge. Yeah. Yes. yes I have plenty of stories to tell him. Mm. Nero, you want to tell him more stories? Well, yeah. He tells. He's he's a teller of tales. You know what you need. He said you had mind control powers. Oh, you do. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Can you uh, I control? <laughs> Nice. Other copper's like, is that true? <laughs> can you get us you information on how to contact <laughs> you can Alvaro? I'm sorry, you wish to contact the House of Alvaro? Yes. Uh, and uh, in 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 the body of whom? Like 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 who who specifically would you wish to speak to? Gianna Alvaro. Gianna Alvaro. Uh, um, so that guy's. Uh, I'm not, I don't know how this guy would express <laughs> that, but he's a he's he's a like he's a minor noble who works for the city government and is probably not going to be available to the public. Um, like, getting an audience with that guy was probably going to take a little while. He doesn't talk, like, with his constituents on a regular basis? Consti- what's a constituent? Oh, never mind. 
His people. Like this is a feudal. Like these are yeah. yeah these are uh, no no he's a he's a he's a he's a minor official in the uh, in the Alvaro in, in House Alvaro. Um, but if Sir wishes a um, if Sir wishes an audience with him, uh, we can send a runner and see. But it'll, it'll just probably take a little while. He's probably not used to getting requests uh, from the um, commander of the chain. Hmm. Who was just in the I'm a, I, I should make a note of this. Mm-hmm. Hang on a minute. Who was, I should make a note of the. Who was in the, the? I should make a note of the crazy shit you people are asking to do. Uh, was in the the the, the paper oh, with Headline. tails on it. Oh hey look, Front page. Uh, so I'm like, where am I? I'm like, what happened to all the scissors? Three pairs of scissors, and they're all disappearing. Listen, I put the. Other you knew this side. job was dangerous okay. when you took it. Uh, it's missing scissors around the office. So you guys want an audience. Uh, with the dude from the paper. This is the kind of downtime thing where you guys let me know what you want to do, and the concierge will go figure out. The concierge will go figure out how to do it and get back to you. Um, uh, information on a uh, fulcrum would be good too. Oh, what does Sir wish to know? Uh, fulcrum is a powerful guild. Uh, what in is, fact, you're, you're, you're the like. The, What's, what's the purpose in the city? All that kind of stuff. The Fulcrum are the Assayers Guild. They are our uh, they are our local patron. They, an audience of, an audience with someone in the Fulcrum will be will be much easier to grant. What kind of I'm sorry. What kind of guild was it? They're the Assayers Guild. <clears throat> Assayers Guild. Yeah. Okay. There's some outside to the bank. You said, or the lady is. I'm sorry. What? The lady in the newspaper. Yes. Yes. She's, she's a she's she's a, she she's the president of the Imperial Bank. Yeah, the fulcrum runs. Paper back? Which paper? The one that she tore up. It's it's over. It's done. I've incinerated it. I don't know. I actually don't know. Yeah, I'm sure you we all got our four copy. Yeah. <laughs> I burned all of them. Okay. I burned all of them. <laughs> uh, Give me what, you were talking about. This one belongs to me. <laughs> Slim's gonna own. collect. Slim's gonna paper own. his place with like all the different references. <laughs> yes. Um, it's your yeah. own scrapbook. <laughs> Lady Faust and Lady President of the Impel Back. You get one half. <laughs> The only reason you want it is because Anna wanted it. Uh, <laughs> no, I want it. What a copycat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop copying me. me Stop copying copy. me. Uh, yeah. So that's me. so like you are in their territory. Like you're 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 soaking in it. This is the the fulcrum runs the fulcrum runs the states. Ah, uh, okay. Interesting. Like so, uh, you've already met an agent of the. Uh, um, sir may have already uh, seen. The officers of the fulcrum. The ones with the Alpins. Al, uh, Alpins. No, that's uh, that's House Navarre, I think. Uh, no, they wear uh, blue vests with gold buttons. The police. Uh huh. Yes. <sighs> I see. The cops. The cops are those are those are the fulcrum's police. They work for the guild. The guild owns them. I see. So the other. Officers that are walking around with breastplates. Yeah. Oh, those. So yeah. The, he, he, yeah. This is well within this dude's wheelhouse. This is mm-hmm. really normal stuff. That's uh, House Alvaro. And that's different from House Navarre, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, House Alvaro is the Navy. Mm-hmm. Oh, how come they? Ha- oh, are they the ones that also have the <clears throat> Raven Crest? Yeah. Okay. Navy. The Owl Crest you're talking about is another house. You're, that's probably he, and in fact the, the concierge knows who you're talking about. That was, you're, you're probably you probably saw that on somebody in customs. Customs yes. is customs. The customs is kind of a weird scenario. It's run by a, it's run by a guild and a and a noble house. Oh, interesting. It's a it's a hybrid. Yeah, the, and then nobody like it's there's a long tradition there, and it's nobody likes it, but it's that's just the way it is. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So if Sir wishes an audience, like uh, talking to the president of the Imperial Bank, that's going to take a while. And you, so, sir, would have to have good business. I can't just, I can't just send a messenger to the. Uh, bank I, I don't, I don't want to talk to them. Okay. Well, in that case, it's very easy for me to help you. <laughs> people don't, people don't talk to her all the time. Is there a um, this paper that we were that were delivered to us? Uh, the broadsheet. There, yeah. Do they have an office here they in the states? Yep. Okay. Do you know where that's located at? Yep. And do yep. you know who runs that office? Yep. Perfect. Yep. Uh, in fact, uh, the senior editor, the the senior editor, editor stays here often oh and what is their name um he tells you okay name Name here plus the kill mirror um are you familiar with the balance spring 
sir? Are you familiar with the balance spring? The spring uh, the watchmaker? No, sir. Hmm, interesting. I'm afraid this is um this is a piece of jargon that I'm not familiar with. Hmm. Is it something to do with uh, mechanisms? I think that they are a group of some kind, whether they be a I probably a guild, perhaps a smaller. Well, uh, unfortunately, sir, this is a reputable hotel, and so if there are any kind of um, organizations that do not have legitimate business, of course, I would not know about. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, that sounds like them. Um, do you are you familiar with the Order of the Rubric? Sir, yes, okay. of course. Or do yeah. they also they're have... sponsored by they're sponsored by the Broadsheet Guild? They're, okay. the, they're the Knights of the Broadsheet Guild. Got it. Do you know if they also have an office location here in the States? Uh, or a guild house? You, uh, their guild house is not here. They're, they're, some of their officers are here. Some like, of their officers? Yeah, some of, their, some, of the, some, of the, some of the knights of the... Somewhere, you can always find uh, knights of the Broadsheet Guild somewhere in the, in the States because they're always reporting on who's showing up in capital. You may have encountered some yourself. Your, your arrival here would almost certainly have been noticed by, um, by a knight of the rubric. Hmm. I haven't read the morning's paper, so I'm afraid I'm not up on current events. Hmm. Um, so the local police, the ones with the buttons, right? Mm -hmm. uh, also, part uh, patrons are patroned by the Sayers Guild. Yeah, the fulcrum. Right. Uh, who's the? Pol is there like a single police captain in the area? Uh, there are. I mean, there's a uh, several different stations throughout the mm -hmm. throughout the stays. And they each have their own kind of uh, local hierarchy. And then there's a kind of like a police station, a central police station that they all report to. But they're mostly independent. Each one's mostly independent. Okay. Because it's because like this is this this, this this is an island that's about as big as Manhattan. Oh, okay. So you're talking about like some of these places are five, six miles away from each other. Got it. Okay. Uh, well, did Sir have business with the... Uh... I was just curious <laughs> who it was. It, like how it was set up, essentially. Are these police also located within the walls of capital, like proper? Uh, we're we're speaking of the uh, the different districts. The, the gold buttons. Yes. No, sir. Okay, so each district in capital has probably its own police force of some kind. Sir, yes, sir. The each each uh, noble house, including the guilds, runs its own mm -hmm. parts of the city. I see. And there's no overarching military force of some kind that protects that would the be, entire city? That would be the 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 prince's troops are currently are technically leaderless, mm -hmm. but that would probably be House Alvaro in the most part, the Marines. The breastplate guys you're going to see all over the place. Got it. So House Alvaro, that was part of the tr prince's that was, is uh, <laughs> Alvaro, is that the name of the prince? No. Oh, it's just something else. That's the Navy. No, right. that's the, 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 the paper. Oh, okay. What happened to the prince? We heard that he was, he was trouble. Murdered. Oh, he was murdered. Well, this is yeah, this is years ago. Oh, years ago. Oh, interesting. Still, still leaderless. Okay. Yes, I cannot. I of course I I cannot comment on politics. It's something I don't pay attention to. Hmm. Okay, I think that's all. They say he was murdered. Who says? They. It was okay. in the papers. The broadsheets. It was in the papers. They. It must be true. <laughs> uh. Okay, that's all the questions I have. Oh, actually, is there a stable nearby that you can I, I would be able to purchase a horse from? Oh, to, to buy a horse? Yes. Um, not only you'll have to go to like the edge. You have to no, not in the stays, because we're an island and we don't really use horses. Oh, but okay. in the city proper, yeah. But it's it's you're probably going to have to go to like the the gates of the city, like the the part of the city that faces the rest of Rio. I was told that it's rare that somebody like deep in the city is going to need to buy a horse. Mm -hmm. Typically, you buy a horse because you want to go somewhere, else. somewhere, somewhere outside capital. I heard that in order to carry weapons within the city, that you have to have a knighthood. Is that correct? Well, I'm, I'm sure. Yes, uh, knights. Knights are permitted to cast spell. Knights are permitted uh, sorcery and and steel. Oh, steel. Okay, got it. How does one go about getting a knighthood? Um, it's not uncommon. It's uh, typically uh, money must change hand or favors. Sure. Is uh, is there any uh, patron that you would suggest? Well, sir, it would be I. I would. I would. It would not. I would never dream of of making such such, such a suggestion. 
Are there any highly rated ones? I mean, you're 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 kind of saying so which is better, Democrats or Republicans? I'm You'd just looking like, for I'm, I'm just looking for four or five stars <laughs> with the two dollar sign or below. There's well, it's a, it, like it, it it it's uh they're not like for sale. They're oh. a result of either graft, mm -hmm. meaning you've got to kind of bribe somebody, and this guy is kind of like. I don't deal with that. Sorry. So well, what you're saying is there's not just one knighthood. There's like multiple different types. Sir, orders. there are dozens of knighthoods. There are dozens of knightly orders in the city. Oh. And there's not one that's more reputable than the others? Uh, all the noble houses, uh, I'm assured that the knights sponsored by each noble house is perfectly rep reputable. He's just trying to be nice. Hmm. And would never... Would never think to. Yeah, he can't say anything bad about yeah. anyone. They're, they're his could, guests. So they yeah, all stay they here. Probably. They all stay here. Yeah, yeah exactly. They all stay. It's a real like. Yeah, you're like. Yeah, you get it. <clears throat> uh, well, I didn't realize there's multiple. Names. Where does the fighting take place? Um, uh, sir, there is a gladiator uh, arena. Unfortunately, it's uh, it's it's a bit long in disrepair. But there are uh, in the city proper. There are. Um, Recently imported style from Vasloria of uh, pugilism. Mm. I hear it's very popular hear among the lower <laughs> classes. But uh, typically, the fighting the fighting in Rio is done on the stage, and is um, theatrical in nature, sir. Perhaps it to the death. Only if the reviews are very bad. WWE. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you uh, like theatrical. Uh, Perhaps sir would like a, a ticket to a show. Mm. Wait. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he'll arrange to get you uh he'll arrange to get you tickets to uh, a, a local show in the States that he will assure you has a lot of um of action and violence. And, yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Oh yes, quite a lot of violence, yes. <laughs> a veritable bloodbath, i I'm assured. Actual death? Uh, I would be the has has guy. Slim has Slim ever experienced like I think theater? Uh, the, uh, probably okay of some sort. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I would imagine they. You could be like the guys from Galaxy Quest, like oh, those poor people. <laughs> it's up to you. I, I would imagine they would have. I mean, no, you know, I don't know. I mean, it, for for Gith Yankee, war is the ultimate expression of. Yeah, you know, so it would probably be gladiatorial type mm -hmm. of things, and it sounds like you guys probably have like scalds rather than like like it sounds like Slim seems interested in people telling a story. Yeah, right. So that's yeah. but that's probably sounds more like Beowulf style stuff as opposed to like actors and parts and dialogue and mm -hmm. chill. Right. Lo, then did Slim grasp the blade? Of well, I think I think that if it was if it was a cool story of yeah. Valor and warfare and and I think so will be very conquering of whatever. I think he would probably be interested in it. Uh, there's a there's a brand new play called The Golden Bull. It is getting great reviews and is a is a is a is a newly cast recapitulation of a famous battle between uh, Rioja and uh, Phaedrus. Cool. I have another question. Are there any other mercenary companies in the city that you're aware of? Or when was the last time you yes. were all in passing? Yeah, no, there are there are there are um, knights for sale mm -hmm. for the proper coin. Yes, as like an actual organization or freelance. There are a couple of kind of knightly orders. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he would express this. Sure. There are a couple of knightly orders whose patron has been killed, and so now they're kind of like Ronan, and you can just hire them. Hmm. Who is their patron? I, I'm. There's dozens of them. Oh, okay. Like we're talking, you're, you're talking about you're talking about a city that has literally thousands of of noblemen in it, oh, right? Okay. And spread out among dozens of noble houses, some very large, some very tiny, and you know. So there's there, but it, it it takes you a while talking to this guy to understand that when you ask, "Hey, are there mercenary companies here?" He's like, "Yeah, oh, sure, absolutely." He means like you, like like you six, right? Not like a unit. Oh right! Yeah. Like there's no, there's nothing in, there's no mercenary unit in capital. So there are sell swords there, but there's not mercenary companies. There's correct. There's not, ar they're not freelance armies. Right. There are mercenary yeah. bands right. that might number as many as twelve, like that kind of thing. Right. And right. Uh, we should hire them all. I was gonna yeah. say we should at least reach out to to these groups of 
We can patch him over. They're already. Like he can, he can, he'll, 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 sir is asking questions a little bit outside my remit, but, uh, I'm, re- we're resourceful here in the Pharaoh's Dream and we intend to, uh, supply only the best of resources to our clientele. If you give me uh, a day or two, I'm sure we can get you the names of some local eager, uh, freelance knights. Freelance knights. <laughs> he doesn't have, there, there's probably some Riohan term. That is kind of romantic the way Ronan is to us. Right. 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 But literally just means out of work night. Yeah. Uh, That's cool. While you are talking, like while you're monopolizing <laughs> the uh, <laughs> Seriously. the uh, the concierge's time, uh, there are other people checking out and being uh, checking in and checking out, being helped by other employees. But um, this kind of squat, middle aged man wearing a, an, an abbot's uh, chasuble approaches and asks one of the people behind the counter if the chain of Akron is staying. Uh, and, the, and, and the person behind the counter looks, <laughs> o- looks over at the concierge and the concierge is like, as you, as you see. And the abbot kind of puts everything together and says, "My work!" <laughs> like, like, holy crap! You're standing right in front of me. And he he scurries. He's got he's wearing like a long, <clears throat> kind of shapeless, um, robe, and he it scurries up to you and 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 is somewhat taken aback. Whatever mental picture he had of the chain of Acheron, this doesn't fit it. <laughs> uh, and he is kind of torn between you two, and is like. And and who's who speaks for the chain? My name is Abbot Nofri. I serve the Saint, I serve the Church of Saint Pelario the Aspirant. Uh, perhaps there is a place we could talk. Have you eaten breakfast? Have you broken your fast? We have not. Well, there's an excellent restaurant. Just uh, what was the church? The Church of Saint Aspirant. Pelario the Aspirant. Aspirant. That's Riohan, I assume. Yes, it's a local church. Sorry, his name was Nofri? Yep, you got it. Abbot Nofri. I feel bad for the I don't know why, but I just I just um anthropomorphize the little cameras. And they're all just sitting there being like, there's nothing you need to <laughs> is anything gonna happen? Or are yes. we just are we just like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got these cool spider the Abbot dudes. attacks with yeah. Wagar spider riders. <laughs> He's like, it just so happens that there's an army of Dwagar spider riders right behind me. <laughs> um <clears throat> Uh, he wants to take you to like breakfast, and he ha- he knows a place. Cool. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's, let's, ride. let's do it. Are you all gonna go? Um, I have a couple more questions left for the for the concierge. Are you gonna wait for Judge, or are you gonna leave Judge behind? Well, if I know where y'all are going, I can catch up with you afterwards. The concierge knows where he, where where Abbott Noffrey wants to go. Yeah, me, I mean, easy enough. It's only a few more questions. Yeah, we'll go. I'm down for breakfast. Okay, breakfast. Can Hell, you? Uh, uh, yeah. Can you tell Angel to meet back in a few hours after you catch up with us? Sure, I'll find him. All right. Well, he'll be at the apple cart. Which one? The apple oh, the one. It's the apple cart. It's the apple cart. It's the only it's one. The caramel sauce. There's one per. There's, there's one per city. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now there's one per city. Now. <laughs> they all they all speak in a comedic Cockney accent. <laughs> Perfect. Very excited. <clears throat> Give me three sausages for two bits, and that's cut me on hand off. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so we go. So yeah, uh, yeah. This place is called Three Eggs, and there's a sign that has a basket with three eggs over it. And it's it's like a it, it's it's uh, another one of those little boutique hole in the wall places. There's about a dozen places to sit inside, and there's a it's like a, almost like a cafe, and that there's places to sit outside. And there's a lot of foot traffic going by, and everybody that eats here seems to be like people that stay at the Pharaoh's Dream. So you guys are in the you guys are in the nice part of town. You're in, the, you're in the nice part of this district. And he he is eager to a- ask a favor of you. I read the morning paper. <laughs> That's fast. While less. they're talking, Slim's going to position himself oh. behind <clears throat> to keep an eye on everything that's going on. Um, a man, like, it, it never stops. Like, it, it, the, the number of people who are like, what the fuck is, oh, shit. Like, when they see you. Like, of all the crazy things in the city, Gith is... 
it's just weird. It's like seeing a fucking xenomorph walking around. Like, like mm-hmm. these guys have seen a lot. They're they're used to seeing things like drow, mm-hmm. um, but things from other things from other planes are pretty rare. I don't think it phases him. Fair enough. He just takes it as like, yes, I am magnificent. I, said, <laughs> <laughs> I like, would stare at me too. Are you still wearing <laughs> your awesome. clothes? That's awesome. Uh, I, hmm. I oh, think yeah, he, I think he probably that? changed back into his his comfortable <clears throat> clothes. If we're going back I'm sure, out in the I, town. I'm sure he had. Uh, I'm still done up. The, sure. Okay. I'm yeah. sure he had the the uh, manservant wash wash them. Yeah, uh, yeah, and they'll do that. They they're yeah. it's a 24 hour. Yeah, they're open all. He's back in his normal uniform. Um, keeping his, his. Is there uh, some lady yeah. pouring tea on somebody else's pancakes? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I thought that no. would definitely be there. No, no one, no one, no one is pouring tea on anybody's pancake. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ours. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Not in this part of town. Not in this. Not in this part of town. Um, Over by the shadow. Mm. Uh, they don't have. They don't have pancakes. This is a very kind of like um, frou frou place, uh, and they're they're eager to serve you, and they don't really. They 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 are. They're they're not. They're not incredibly surprised by. They talk. They everybody enjoys talking to Boots. Like they they ask Boots what they what he wants to what what you all want, right? And they are eager to because Boots fits right in. Boots is legitimately Riohan. And looks the part. Uh, whereas people and people are like copper is not that big a deal. It's unusual for a goblin to come here, but it's not unusual for a goblin to be in the city. Mm. It's really weird for a judge. Like they all want, they're all like, wow. Why is there a tiefling in my my soup? <laughs> why, why is there a tiefling in my, is like my, in my in store? Soup? <laughs> why is there a tiefling in my store? Um, and they're eager to get you your food. Uh, big cat is gonna have big cat's like there's actually not room. No, in, she's out front. Inside. Okay, yeah, yeah, sitting like you know like a dog. So there's a gith and a displacer beast. Yeah, so, a gith and a displacer beast walk into a bar. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Abbott Office says I, I I I I apologize. I've never I've never hired anybody anybody like like you folks before. So if I if I if I uh, you said there were you said the the broadsheet the guild the broad the guild you said the broadsheet was uh, inaccurate. Uh, I, I, I was under. I was understood that you were looking for work. We are looking for work. Oh, oh! Whew, thank goodness. Well, what's uh, a sheet was perhaps too accurate. <laughs> if anything, Winked it was. King. Too did you, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, did you read it? Chain sign. Throw over the immortal empress. That's ridiculous. Anyways, what's, well, uh, I'm what's... not. I, 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 I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not interested in your in your personal history. Uh, what's the favor? Uh, There's uh, a trifle. There's a um, a symbol of the church's blessing on the lawgivers of this island. This local is it this lo- is it this island? Yeah. Uh, stand by. Let me read my own notes. <laughs> said lawgivers. Yeah, yeah, the people who run the place, like yeah. cops, people who give laws. Symbol. Would that be like police or like politicians? I think it'd be politicians, like right? politicians. What the hell was I, What the hell did I mean yeah. when I wrote this? <laughs> Let me see. Don't listen to that. <laughs> pro, pro DM. <laughs> uh, challenge one, some hash one not the pro. Yeah. Uh, Are you not entertained? Okay. It's uh, there's there's an artifact, and and he is not using the term in Dungeons and Dragons sense. Um, there's an artifact that was made by our church. And that we gave to the prince's um, servants when they administered this island, and it's been lost. And as a as a gesture of our faith in and belief in Lady Shirome, we would like to, as a gesture, give this artifact to her. Unfortunately, it would be it would be considered a sign of good faith and 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 a blessing on on her and her guild. And the hopes that uh, that we have peace on the island, but unfortunately, it's in the citadel. Who's Lady Shirome, and where's the citadel? Lady, Lady, Lady Shirome. Lady Shirome runs the fulcrum. Huh. Run? Wait, wait, we probably do that, right? Uh, he wants to give it to her. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. It's a. Boston Manetti is not the leader of the fulcrum. Uh, Lady is Minetti. The no, of Lady, Minetti is the, Lady Minetti works for the Philcom. Yes. Uh, very formidable woman, Lady uh, 
Yeah, but she does, no, she does not run the full group now. What's her name again? Shiromi. Shiromi. Lady Sharona. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a Higaran name, by the way. What is the Citadel? Oh, uh, the Citadel, like, you guys may have <laughs> seen it. You can see it. Uh, if you could stand on the ceiling of the Pharaoh's Dream, like stand on the roof of it, rather, you'd be able to see it. It's a um, it's a fortress. It's a, like an old medieval. Well, I mean, yeah, it's an old medieval fortress that was once occupied by the prince's soldiers, but it's been abandoned for hundreds of years. Is it on the same land? Yeah, mass? it's on. It's on. Yeah, it's on this island. Okay. Yeah, it used to be. It used to be just a uh, you know back before. So it's abandoned. Yeah, and it's been abandoned for a while. People, people, they say it's haunted. It's not mm. haunted. He's like, it's, I, I assure you. I speak as an authority on. Then why not go get it yourself? Well, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a soldier. I'm not. I don't know how to. So there are things so there. There are things there that will need slaying. Pirates, probably. Something. Something occupies. Something occupies the place and is allowed. I don't know why. I'm not an expert on these things. I'm. I am, but a lowly abbot. But uh, there's some business being done inside the citadel that the fulcrum turns a blind eye to. Mm. Um, in, in faith, the the uh, the fulcrum is. Well, you're not there. In faith, I am there. You're outside. I, I no no. I, I said I stand behind these guys. Oh okay. Oh. Sorry. I thought, you were, there. I thought you were. I thought you were. I thought you were like I'm gonna be on the. I, I don't know why. I no 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 no. Sorry. Um, is uh, Shromi the last name? Uh yeah. Is that name familiar? to Um, make a his, is there a knowledge history? Not there's mm -hmm. not knowledge history anymore, but there's history. 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 There's history. Make a make a history check. Mine. Ah, it's a, you you recognize oh, it oh, as oh, a. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It, 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 if she's anybody, if she's it's nobody you've heard of. Okay. She could just be, you know, a random a random exile from Higara. Why do you want uh, to impress Lady Shiromi? Well, I mean, it's a, uh, you know, she runs, she runs the island and we were, uh, our church is here on the island and, and, uh, you know, in times past, our church had great authority with the local governors. And unfortunately that, that time has passed and our, our authority has waned. And if there was a way for us to sort of let it be known that in the coming conflict that, um, that we support Lady Shirome, then I think things would go well for her and go well for us. The coming conflict. <clears throat> yes. With whom? Well, the in the in the city. For leadership of the city. This is like this is what my Boots' chain sign looks like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Are things sort of coming to a head in that regard? <clears throat> I mean, the, the thing the, the, it cannot last as it is forever. I mean, the prince is dead. He says. Why yeah, do you want to support several years, right? Yeah, but now, like, so now, like, now that Ajax is threatening, the I, like he he he's not an expert on these things. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. it's just everybody knows. Yeah, it's kind of the it's kind of like the like before, but in in both World War One and World War Two, people knew there was going to be a war for years before it happened. Pressure right. building. Yeah, and so right. he's just like one of those gotcha. guys. It's like everybody everybody knows there's going to be there's going to be a fight. Right, and uh, so we, you know we think that it would be. That it would be, that it would be a, a, a sign of the Church of Saint Pelario, the aspirants' belief and support, the full faith and support of the Church in Lady Shirome. Why do you want to support the Fulcrum? I mean, well, she's uh, she's our local uh, governor. But you realize that if Ajax were to come, she would support Ajax based on the papers that you read. Uh, that's I, I don't I don't know that. But okay. Well, know. you realize Ajax does not let you follow your god. I mean, this is I mean, I, I'm 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 but a I'm but a lowly abbot. I don't I don't I don't run the church. I don't make decisions regarding. You don't care about your faith, to your god. Um, Saint Pelario will provide. Why are we talking about Ajax? Because Ajax is coming. Well, I mean. I mean, yes, certainly, yes, certainly, yes. Ajax, Ajax is coming. Yes, yes, we all agree. Yes, but now, right now, it's our. We are interested in. It, regardless, <clears throat> I, I understand if you're reluctant to take on a uh, to take on a job like this. It's probably it's probably quite beneath you. Um, it was probably wrong with me to ask. 
What uh, what is the artifact? It's a it's a rod about yay long. It's inscribed with um, uh, kind of like a it's like a frease of the you know, deeds of Saint Polaria. Can like you, you can, get it? Us... Like makes like a little like triptych as it goes around. Can you get us a license to use magic? A license to use magic. A license to use magic. Uh, for, for if we're going to be fighting pirates and things that are in this place, well, there are no, there are no. Dead. I mean, there are no police in the citadel. I mean, what you do, what you do in there will be no one will know. The fulcrum. Um, what, yes, what about them? They'll know, correct? No, like there's like the citadel is abandoned. <clears throat> it's an abandoned ruin. Okay. That kind of sits in the city and used to once before there were five story tall buildings on the city. Hundreds of years ago, it was kind of the dominant structure, but that was that was generations ago. <clears throat> um, we'll do it. Uh, do you care to discuss uh, payments? Well, how much? How much? I'm 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 authorized to I'm authorized to pay, but how much? How much? How much do you cost? I'll throw it out. Fuck you. Uh, King this Paul? is for this is for you, Matt. What's the equivalent of one dice on the? Uh, oh, it's like great. a couple of thousand gold pieces. That's it. Well, it, it depends on. Actually, I, I think it's. I think it's like <laughs> logarithmic. I think like going like things that cost six don't cost six times more than things that cost one. They cost like thirty times more. So each each level each level is a lot more. So right now your the treasure dies at four. Getting it from four to five might cost like I don't know twenty thousand gold. So it's like. First edition experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, where it's, it's like <laughs> getting from like getting from fifth to six or six to seven level was like it went. And you're like that's bullshit. Yep. <laughs> um. I mean, I think, our, I think be, our characters would know a good uh, amount of payment. Be no, that's fair. I don't, I don't. Totally fair. No, that's that's totally fair. I mean, it's. <clears> I, I would say. Magic items I would too. say for like 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 he's he's magic he's, items knighthoods. Yeah, yeah. Uh, We're not going to get knighthoods from this guy. I don't think. Uh. Are you uh, are, is sir uh, is sir he doesn't call you sir I mean are you in need of um of knighthoods it would be useful yes um I, I can tell you that the the church the church does not have uh does not we're we're a relatively small church and do not sponsor an order of knights but I know people who do we put in a good word for you there we go I think I, this this is as an aside. If you if, if you would pardon me for a moment. Oh, by all means, I understand. That you discuss. Have, I understand that you are you have business too, Commander. He'll 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 be happy to just eat his breakfast. <clears throat> it's delicious. I'm for it. I mean, we fetch this dude's rod. Why me? I mean, the, <laughs> there's there's no reason not to do it. Um, but I have some hesitation with the fulcrum. How, how is this gonna? Because if they're like, I mean, you you read the paper, right? Mm. How is this going to what, Tom? Which part of the paper exactly? How is this going uh, the part of the paper oh. about the discussion between, or uh, the decree by Alvaro and the Fulcrum. The Fulcrum seems fine with Ajax coming. Obviously, they don't know that Jerome's going to die if Ajax comes, and Ajax is going to put somebody else in power for the Fulcrum. Like, I mean, as far as Wait, these I'm... people are concerned, Ajax is coming is years away. Hmm. Also, so this isn't something that's going to happen. Like, it's like global, it's like from these people, it's like yeah. global warming. It's like, that's a yikes. I, I'm sure it's going to happen, but who knows and when. <clears throat> Will it even happen in our lifetimes? Unknown. I see this as like, we're, like, this is just like a local church. Like, I mean, it's an a, easy job. Right. It, it's an easy job. Like, we're, we're, we're not, we aren't directly supporting Ajax. Like, I feel like this is pretty far removed from. from well, no, 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 no. But if, need if, to, you need, if you need time to think about it, we could, I could go back tomorrow. I just want to know how this is going to help build our army. We there's just a bunch of church dudes. What are they gonna so do? It's not making money. money. We need we gotta pay the troops. Do they have money though? Oh no, you just said they have money. Yeah, they can pay. Yeah. Enough? Well. Yeah. Quick job. Quick in and out, Tom. Uh copper. There's only Sorry. one there's only one quick. Payment. It's quick. It's quick game, quick game. <laughs> Payment quick. and networking. I mean yeah. those those are well, no, both gonna put a good word need. in for us for nighthood, so exactly. They're so weak. <laughs> also, I mean, we take care of some pirates, like we we fought lithid pirates. Yeah, like we could go, you know, like let's. What could possibly be oh. the Citadel that would? Yeah. <laughs> Just... What could possibly be worse than, uh, you know, my player ship and an exploding man god? If they're undead, we can deal with those. It's easy stuff. <laughs> I'm up for it, Commander. Let's do it. 
I agree. That was, that was, that was easy. Wow. <clears throat> well, we haven't yeah. discussed the price yet. This is easier than I thought. I'm pretty good at this. We haven't discussed the price. I mean, yeah, he he is willing. Like, it's going to cost uh, one belt so, of hill giants. So, right, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you guys are six level. He's hiring five six level officers. It's going to be like five thousand gold. Is what he's willing to offer, and he, he he makes it clear that this is a substantial outlay for the church. We're a small church. That'll keep us uh, short up at the Pharaoh's Dream for quite a while. I do. At least until our duds are ready. <laughs> Did he laugh like that? No. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> it's going to six slim on him. <laughs> it's going to six slim. No, I mean, he's, he's astonished that you guys are able to make, make up your minds that quickly. Uh, I'm sure we want to look for... I mean, this is the first dude that came to us. There's... Quick job. Takes a couple hours. It does take that quick. How far away is the, uh, was it the Citadel? What's their church? We have to go to the they have clerics. They can heal if you get beat up. So. <laughs> what are you typing? I'm, I'm texting a friend of mine. Fuck off. <laughs> it's, a, it's rude for, a, for an abbot to sit there and play with his uh, speaking stone yeah. while uh, communing with the, uh, uh, negotiating his business. god. Uh, let's, uh, let's meet again tomorrow morning and we'll uh, oh, give you an answer. So, certainly, certainly. We'll uh, talk to Angel first. Oh, yeah, good yeah. call. So, we'll, yeah, he, we'll, we'll he, he, he actually off, he scurries off. away. He wants to leave you to eat. So he kind of goes, oh, 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 I'm sorry, he'll see you tomorrow. And you go, bloop, bloop, and fucks off. He's paying for this, though, right? Yeah, he's already paid. <laughs> he's already paid. <laughs> he seems really, like, ill at ease. Like, he's not used to handling large amounts of currency. And even just paying for you guys eating here, mm-hmm. it's like... Whew. He's got the money on him? Yep. Well, he doesn't have 5,000 gold on him. He has enough to pay for for a breakfast at a really, really snooty place. For six food. Is it a snooty, snooty box? box? It's not a snooty yeah. box. It's not in the Are box. Are you sure it's, it's actually, not somebody actually, pouring tea on some bills? <laughs> There was no, there are no audio engineers. Is that why it's pouring, called the foxes? What? Is that why it's called the foxes? Um, it's no, it's because <laughs> they. Port of town? No, I like, just don't even tell me. It, that's just what I'm. No, it's too late now, Anna. No, that's canon. It's canon. Now, it's canon. No, oh, fine. <laughs> um, there should be a snooty fox somewhere in the city. Yeah, uh, we'll make sure of that. We will find it. Anyway, so you, I'm sure that yeah, your breakfast is otherwise uneventful. The abbot scurries off. He seems hugely relieved, like he, he was. Uh, like dealing with you folks was really uh that's actually the worst breakfast I've probably ever had. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh I wanna try. No, that's all right. That's pretty good. What have you done, Phil? <laughs> now everyone, <laughs> everyone has to roll to find out what they think about it. <laughs> no, it's just that one. Usually I like Well, this is the first time someone had try. eggs. What can they say? I can't I, I, I'm, I'm mm, glad unborn I, baby birds. I, 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 There's no chickens I, in the astral state. I feel bad that he actually paid for that. Uh I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> anyway. You eat garbage. It's yeah. one of those it's one of those places that it's it's actually not very palatable, but it's in fashion and therefore an acquired taste. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, why would you put like why, that place I brought to you guys at Mansion Oh my god. Oh my Listen, god. let's not talk yeah, about let's that. Let's not talk about that, that was, again. <laughs> that was uh, here's your two leaf salad, sir. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> That's not anyway. <laughs> anyway, it is like that, but uh, nobody else understands. No, no, enough in jokes. Uh, <laughs> the hell are we talking about? Oh yeah. So at this point, breakfast is done. Uh-huh. You guys are free to do what you want. Well, it's still a little early. It's not even like nine a.m. yet. We need to go get some. What the hell? Yeah. These are my notes. You've got a fucking <laughs> scroll. Scroll. Yes. Is that the stuff you, you want? Is that what you've? Is that? Are those? These your, are all my questions. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, I was really like, wow, okay. You know, just... you could get like a book thing like Lark. But this is so much funner. Yes, you could like had one. That's a word. Okay. Okay. I hardly knew her. When you're all done, you could paste them <laughs> up Look, on your funniest is a word. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Is don't, it? Don't. <laughs> all right, so anyway. Apple cart. You guys gonna go to the Apple cart? Yeah. What time are you gonna meet Angel there? Was I supposed to go there and meet 10:30. them? 10 30. Well, oh. yeah, but you're still asking questions. No, I'm not. I literally wait, so wait, what, what is it? I'm, I'm sorry. Refresh my memory. What is it you're trying to find out from Angel? No, huh? we just wanted to, you know, put his ear to the ground in the shadows. Ears the shadows. Yeah. People looking for work, etc. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
<clears throat> All right, sure. Rumors. Yeah. You guys go back to the apple cart, and the apple cart seller is like, my friends! <laughs> uh, Your favorite he, cart. Yeah. Takes out. On the stairs. <laughs> this is my favorite cart on the stairs. <laughs> yes. He's like, I just stocked up on more sausages just for you. <laughs> Brand new, fresh, straight off the pig, or whatever. 100% <laughs> authentic meat. Put some. I, I just had breakfast, but. I'll take one. Okay. I just Are tried you? to choke. I, I ended up scooting like some of that off my plate, so I'm actually you're, you're still like, yeah. pretty hungry. Oh, okay. yeah. um, so he starts making all of you uh, one caramel dipped sausage. Caramel dipped this. sausages. <laughs> He's like, "This is the, this is my life now." He's like, "All right, here we go." And that, he just assumes you all want to eat them. Uh, <clears throat> Pass. And. Uh, as you are noshing on your <laughs> <laughs> or for me uh, as you are noshing on your caramel dip sausages uh, a halfling shows up that you recognize that's not angel it is yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> you're, here meet, you're here to meet angel and the, yeah, why and, the fuck and, would you say that <laughs> that you recognize well I mean I guess we're drunk on caramel sausages and we might not know people's faces anymore we're drunk on caramel sausages we've we recognized so this halfling before angel, angel shows so up well. and angel has a huge smile on his face Ooh. where are the other two uh, Wait, I'm not there are you there? Are you not there? No, you I don't know where the fuck I'm at anymore. So? I don't know where the fuck I'm at anymore. Is that what you just said? Yes. I don't know where I am. You were going to be. Where do you? Where, wait. Yeah. Where do you want to be? I had questions for the guy. You had questions for the concierge. <laughs> so meanwhile, as you guys are talking to the abbot, Judge has questions for the concierge. Yes. Mm. Yes. So uh, I just had a few more questions as they walked off. Um, so I had heard that the broadsheets was run by a woman and a some kind of dragonborn. Is that correct? Yes. Do you know the name of the woman? Who runs the broadsheets? He does. Okay, cool. Um, and he, uh, Judge is going to ask the same thing about the the dragonborn. And then also, Judge, I comment on the fact that like it's interesting. Most places I've been to, dragonborn have had to be very concealed. Is that not the case here in Capital? That's actually probably not the case for you. Oh, is it not? No, it's only in Vasloria. Are like uh, like so like in my past lives. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm not sure how much how much service Judge has done in Vasloria, mm -hmm. but only in that kind of Western European analog, like there. So, it, it like mm, Dragonborn are made. Yes, and there are people probably in every region of Orden. There's someone who could make them. So being Dragonborn does not mean you're. Oh, uh, being I didn't Dragon that. Yeah, being dragonborn. Yeah, I mean, every region has 18th to 20th level wizards in it. There just probably aren't that many. I thought of them. it was totally just like just uh, the wizard from before. Like, there's like two main wizards who just made and, all dragonborn. Well, so I mean, you're, what you're so it's it's as though so what you're reciting is you're reciting this kind of Bognerian legend from from Germany, but you're in the middle of Colombia. <clears throat> okay. Right, and it's like, well, we also have people here, but we don't have those people. Right. So it's it's in that in that tiny part of the world, uh, dragonborn are were created by uh, Vitae, but mm -hmm. there are there are there are people in every region of the world that know the ritual. Interesting. And there are rumors that dragonborn can be spontaneously created as a result of proximity to powerful dragons. But you cannot you you don't. You don't know if that's true or not. That sounds pretty. You can't know if it's true or not because I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> sounds like a gemstone thing. Uh, anyway, okay. why? What were you asking about the dragonborn? It is unusual to have a dragonborn. Uh, well, you know, senior editor is a dragonborn. Right. Well, we just you know we have some of our own amongst our ranks, and yes. we just want to be assured of their safety when they are in capital. Um. Few are the ancestries that experience open discrimination here in the city, as I'm sure you well know. No, I don't want to eat. Well, then neither do I. He says. <laughs> all right. Uh, so capital, a very egalitarian city. He says. <laughs> all right. So at one point we had talked about House Al uh, Alvaro, who yes, House Al Alvaro, Alvaro, uh, who is part of the navy and stuff like that. And they're also, uh, I, think I, that I think, my understanding from talking with Godesto is that Prospero Alvaro is supposed to be kind of this front runner up to take the place of the prince. Oh, and I think I screwed up some of the names of the houses then. Sorry. Oh, okay. House Verona is the Navy. House Verona is the Navy. Oh, okay. Sure. World building. What do I know? <laughs> okay. You make all this stuff. You make all this stuff up. Uh, you, yeah, House Verona is the Navy. House Alvaro is, um, I believe, the 
church. I should probably have this written down. Yeah, I don't want the fucking cannons. Okay. Send the notes off to the wrong people. All right. Sorry. So house This is why. This is what happens when I don't have my iPad on me. <laughs> okay, so that kind of like nixes my question, but I did want to ask what the if he's familiar with Marquis de Masco. Uh, uh, the the admiral, yeah, the admiral stayed here on on more than one occasion. We okay. have we have been honored to host uh, the admiral when he uh, needs to. Uh, usually, when he's having some important meeting with a foreign visiting dignitary. Hmm. Interesting. So he comes here often. I wouldn't say often. Perhaps once a year. Oh, once a year. Oh, that's not very often at all. I guess it's often enough to make note of it, though. Well, I mean, he's he's. Um, He's not uh, he's not the head of that faction, but he's a important person in it. Got it. Okay. Okay, I have my notes in front of me. Sorry. Okay, no worries. Pretend like I know what I was talking about. <laughs> sure. All right, because I was gonna uh, I was just gonna ask what Prospero because I thought Alvaro was Verona, but since that's not the case anymore, we can go ahead and forget all that. And then I'm gonna show him my crew drawing of the the spring. I know we had discussed it before, and he said he wasn't familiar with it. But after I show him that, <laughs> does that ring a bell? So have you seen this symbol anywhere? I'm sure I haven't. Okay. I can have a shifty about that. Mm. All right. Thank you for your time. So the next I can give you. I can give you. I'll, I will. I will give you folks the uh, rundown of the information you're able to glean from these people regarding the high level politics of the city because you've certainly talked to enough people at this point. Mm-hmm. It's basically. We still need that from Gadesto. Uh, Gadesto swears he's going to get it to you. I've Man, heard this I think before. I've heard that before. Yeah, swear yeah. A he swears. Times. He's just, you know, he got waylaid by a pub last night and has unfortunately has been. <laughs> waylaid? <to>, yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, we were eating fucking pudding for hours. Listen, yeah. I'm just saying. While he told like, us about that. Relying on a Rio and first mate of a pirate ship is probably not the most. Oh, I do have another question. Board, so. I know that we just bought clothes, but I. Kind of let them know that, um, you know, as you can see, we are not as finely dressed as some of the folks around here. We went. I to... think Sir is very well dressed. Please don't patronize me. Uh, we would like Sir. to, or I would like to uh, acquire some finer clothing. Uh, we, went to, we went to ABCs. Is there any place? Well, one of the finest in the one of the finest in the states. Oh, is it? And there's none. There better. are much. There are finer in the city. Mm. Okay, I would like the name of the finest. He gives it to you. Okay. Do you want, you want, does, do I understand, sir, correctly, that you wish to know the name and location of the best tailor in the city? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, know what I was say? Yeah. you knew exactly what I was going to say. Of the what? What, the did I miss it? That he, knew, he knew exactly how I was going to punctuate <laughs> what I was going to say before I had said it, which means I'm obviously too, I'm too obvious. Uh, <laughs> too predictable. <laughs> yeah. I prefer the term reliable. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you do. That was also predictable. <laughs> <laughs> Predictable, reliable, incorrigible. Uh, I'm making notes. I'm making notes of the stuff that you guys want me to go do research on and come back and report on. Okay. Uh, so Angel, meanwhile, <clears throat> meanwhile at the apple cart. Yeah. And and people are coming. Like there's a a, a uh, apparently dressed for work and on her break, Riohan um, uh, woman who in her early forties who watches this and asks to also have a caramel covered. Sausage. Oh no! <laughs> Give it a shot. And and the apples, the apple seller the is chain like special. Chain yeah. special. He, he says, yeah, he gets what he calls it. It's like pinks. Yes, yeah, so it's like pinks. <laughs> this is the chain. Yeah. We, we chain to link. Yeah. Uh, let's go. To, let's, right now. Let's, let's go to pinks. Yeah. See you guys later. <laughs> Screw it. Um, <laughs> right after. Uh, yeah. So he says one chain special coming up. Except he says it with a oh, hilarical chain link. A oh, chain link. So, that's... Yep. 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 He calls it the chain link. <laughs> How special. Except he says it with a comedic Cockney accent, which I am not going to abuse right now. You're uh, welcome. So, uh, yeah, really. And she's kind of like... And she walks away like, oh, I think I'm winning Rome. Uh, and this is the apple seller is like, this is crazy. Um, <laughs> and he starts saying, he starts you, calling out, caramel covered sausages. You have Get one your caramel covered sausages. It's like when you go to a fair and everything's fried. Yeah, exactly. For no yeah, reason. But, yeah. <laughs> Now everything's good. This, everything this guy sells is going to be. It, this guy started being confused if people don't want caramel on there. Uh, so yeah, Angel has a huge smile on his face. It looks happy. Uh, <laughs> and he says, uh, "Hey, boss, uh, you want to talk to a dead guy? Because he wants to talk to you." <laughs> dead <clears throat> about what? Says he wants to hire us. 
Did he talk about the job at all? Nope. Said he wanted to talk to the boss man. Where are the others? They're they're still kind of uh, working working the scene. I show up. Hey. I don't know how I feel about dead guys. But Let's talk. <clears throat> how cool did you like talk to a dead guy? Hurt. Sounds cooler than church dudes. He just he just came to the we were we were in the <clears throat> in the shadow and uh, it's called the actual name of this place by the way is called the Prince's Shadow. And it's like an outline of some really like foppishly dressed guy casting a shadow. It's called the Prince's Shadow. This is a lot of places named after this uh, prince guy in this place. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, yeah. Dead guy just walked in and said he wanted to meet the officers of the chain. How'd you know he was dead? I mean, wait till you see the guy. <laughs> <laughs> is he still there? Yeah, oh yeah. All right, well, let's you, go talk to him. Yeah. We're going to talk to him. If you, if you run out of leads there, uh, check out the old stool. Or the footstool tonight. The prince's tool. Prince's stool. footstool. Stool. I told you, man. It's princes. Everything's named after the prince. It was the prince's head and the prince's stool and well, he's, prince's dick and prince's... He's dead now. Maybe there's a memorial. Yeah, maybe it's a memorial. Maybe it's the dead guy. Maybe they're all named after... Oh. <laughs> Rest in pubs. Uh, so yeah, let's, he, goes, if, he goes, if you're up for it, he goes, if you're not busy, let's go. You're going to love yeah, this. Let's, let's do it. I will go. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. They he He leads you through... To uh, into where's the map? Did I give it to you? Did you give it back to me? I gave it back. I have it. Uh, the thing is, I have all my notes from last week, and I have my notes from this week. I think I'm writing on the back of it. Uh, <laughs> yep. I'm like, this is important. I better. Uh, yeah, he you takes you. For that. He takes you down to the um, to the dogs, and once you cross uh, the Via Tortula, it's obviously like you are in a poor neighborhood. This is. Um, this is kind of a kind of more what you're used to, actually. Huh. Like more like this is more like a Looks normal like black bottom. Yeah, I was literally about to say this is a lot more like what you what you're what you saw in black bottom. Um, it's it's not as it's not as clean. The houses are older. They're not as well kept. You occasionally see somebody who appears to have passed out and doesn't have a place to stay, sleeping in a corner. And uh, Angel leads you right up to this place called the the Prince's Shadow. This place doesn't have a, there is no writing over the sign. It's just a picture. And you walk in, it's it's small, and it's it's cold in here, and it's dark. It's So, so at this point, it's probably about like 10.30, I guess, 10.30, 11 o'clock. It's a little bit before, it's a little bit before noon. And uh, it's a small tavern, and it's sooty. It's not super clean. And there are not that many people in here. There's like one or two early customers. There are rooms upstairs. And there's a gentleman in what appears to be like a, like a, a, a kind of the Riohan version of like middle management outfit. Not really well dressed, but just put together. Not showing off how much money he has spent on his outfit, but it is, you know. Right. It's respectable. Yeah. And and Angel's like, after you, boss. <laughs> and it kind of points to the table. And at first, when you walk in, especially as your eyes are adjusting, he just looks like a fit kind of guy with short hair. And as you approach, he's dead. Like, this is a revenant. This is sallow, gray skin. And uh, there's, like, um, flies, like, L- like land smells? on him and walk around. Mm. It's musty. There is a. There is definitely a smell as you approach. An actual but it's revenant. Not like, well, no. I mean, are you, lower, with a lowercase R. Okay. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I haven't looked up the five E stats on a revenant. Right. Um. But he's, he is. Um. It, you know. Unden- undeniable. He's. he's mm. he, and, and like, there's like a, a fly will just like kind of go and then buzz away. He doesn't have flies buzzing around him, mm-hmm. but there's, he's he's either dead or very very unwell. Mm. Uh, and yeah, he has this gray, dark gray skin. It smells like home. It smells. It's, it, it it is a. Um, it's the smell of like an old tomb that has lay undisturbed for centuries. And this is the shadow. Okay. Why'd you say it like that? I'm just clarifying. Yeah, you guys are in the Prince's Shadow is what it's called. Well, you wanted to talk with us? The Chain of Acheron, I presume. Have a seat. Is he sitting? 
Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the tables are uh, cheaply put together, like they like they're not. And they wobble. They, they they wobble. The the chairs creak when you sit in them. I read the broadsheet this morning. <laughs> I represent a very old family. Something was stolen from them centuries ago. <laughs> when he coughs, like a moth goes and flies out of it. <laughs> <laughs> His teeth are yellowing. They're really well, like really well put together teeth. Like when he was guy was alive, he spent a lot of money on his teeth. But that was a while ago, and now things are starting to kind of go south. What's the family? A, a local family. Hmm. Obviously, named. Uh, I, I was hoping that uh, I was dealing with men of discretion, because I certainly am one. Mm -mm. We can keep things confidential. Can you? Can you keep a secret? Mm -hmm. Well, so can I. Now, this item we seek to recover belongs legally to the family I represent, you understand. It is their property. Who has it? Uh, that's a good question. Stand by. Yeah. Uh, you ask a complex question. I do not know who has it, I only know where it is. And it has been long beyond our reach. There was an item in the paper I read this morning that leads me to believe that you might be able to recover it. We might be able to. Where is this item? It is on an island surrounded by a lake. A lake in another world. <clears throat> Well, that's uh, that's an interesting detail. What other world? Astral plane? Uh, um, uh, somewhat farther below. In hell. Uh huh. No. No, too far. The world below. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The sunless sea, in the world below, lost to us for centuries. But your pilot captains a ship that can get there. Hmm. We have no facility to recover it ourselves, but the aging matriarch of the family I represent has begged us to recover it, though we have politely declined until now. I was hoping you might be able to aid us. What's the uh, timeline that you need this? Oh. Uh... As soon as is practicable. Hmm. So somebody currently own or somebody currently has possession of this item in the world below. It has been lost for generations. It's probably like Xanathar or something. <laughs> you guys, well, I mean, you as players have met a beholder that lives down there. Uh -huh. yeah. that, would be, yeah. that would be bad news if it were. If yeah. It. yeah. Um, almost certainly not, but who knows? Yeah, he doesn't He doesn't know who has it. He only knows where it is. What is the item? Uh, a crown. A crown? A crown. Yeah, you can, you, you'll recognize it as soon as you see it. A crayon? A, cra a crayon. A crayon. No, mm -hmm. a crown. <clears throat> what does it look like? He describes it to you. Mm. It's a real, it's a, uh, it's a crown in the real in style. Interesting. Whatever that means. Interesting. Fancy. Yeah. I'm empowered to make any offer necessary. Hmm. Are you? Able I'm sure others have approached you with with work. Yes. We will outbid them. Uh. Well. Then. Is this an exclusive deal? In the sense that if we take this job, we can't take any others. I don't think we're going to be able to find very many jobs that also want us to go into the Underdark. <laughs> we have uh, if, we if, have other business to conclude in the city, so we would not be able to leave immediately. If our relationship proves rewarding and fruitful and mutually beneficial, 
then we may be interested in hiring you on retainer. In which case, we would be very particular about who you associated with. But for now, we are happy to employ you as free agents. Hey, maybe they can get us knighthoods. We most assuredly can. You know, I'm liking the sound of this. Yeah. Should we uh, ask what our opinion as well, AJ? Or yeah. sign up the wrong fucking dudes? <clears throat> How do you feel about the fulcrum? Mm. Mm, run by a woman, I think. But what's your opinion of them? I think that says it all, don't you? No, oh, boy. Ooh, come on. But you can't. Come on. come on, bro. He's evil, that's why. Oh. We are all gentlemen. We are all gentlemen here. I can assure you that um, the family I represent are very uh, traditional. Aren't you also run by an old matriarch? Uh, a temporary embarrassment on her part. What does that even mean? <laughs> on her part? Uh, hope she meaning don't. meaning that she doesn't want to be in charge. Well, no, of course not. Politics is no place for a woman. Damn. Well, <clears throat> are you familiar with happened with what happened in Black Bottom? Uh, Black Bottom, um, a backwater town on the other side of the world. I think hmm. there may have been something in the paper this morning about it. I treasure my ignorance. Hmm. You're a rich man, then. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been insulted by better, but not wearing boots like that. <laughs> <clears throat> Lots of money. Chance to kill mind flayers. Mind flayers. Mind flayers. Hey, we're going into the One underdark. Belt I mean, of Bill giant strength boots an undead army undead army <clears throat> no uh, so in the sunless sea and the world below do we can always we think on it know? for a day well yeah but I'm, I'm thinking out of character but can we actually get there with it like yeah cause you, the, the well the mind players would have to uh, go between there the underdark is another plane in Matt's yeah. world. Yeah, so you just use the maelstrom again, I think, probably to get to it, right? No. no you just, tell the, you just tell the navigator where you want to go. Yeah. Oh. You might have to you okay. might you might have to get a chart. Hmm. Like you might have to the 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 fantastic equivalent of like you need coordinates. Hmm. Right. Because you can't just tell the navigator, hey, we want to go to another universe right. and expect to end up where in that universe you expect to be. Does he have uh, uh Slim will ask him, do you have the coordinates for this place? Um but, or that, well, I don't know if he'd use he, coordinates. No, he probably wouldn't say coordinates, but he would say, uh, "We're gonna you 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 know that you're gonna need a chart, right? You have yeah. a chart for this place." So he doesn't know how your ship works, mm -hmm. but uh, he he says, "Well, anything anything you require, let me know in detail, and I will <clears> provide it." There are, we have we employ many sages. <clears throat> so we wait on it for a day. Well, yeah, we're. Uh... We're establishing ourselves in the city. He reaches into his coat and pulls out a card. And he says, my card, contact me when you have an answer. Sounds good. Very well. But the card how is you, completely blank. How do you, yeah, I was going to say, how do you, yeah, how, how does, does this, oh, this work? <laughs> you just, just you, hold it and say, like, no, 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 it's not magic. You just tell, uh, you just tell a, tell, uh, give this to the concierge at the mm. Pharaoh's Dream. What's the card look like? It's, blank? it's a, it's blank. a, it's blank. What color is it? I mean, white. It's a white. It's like a bone white card with literally nothing on it. Because he's a white guy. Because he's. <laughs> <laughs> well, either that or it's like you get it wet and yeah. the letters show up or something like that. Pee on it. <laughs> it's a very specific. That was a very specific uh, ritual. Uh, <laughs> it's two blue lines. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I hope we can do business. Uh, the people I represent will be very disappointed if they're rejected. <clears throat> All right. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get, get back, back to you within the week. <laughs> week? Within the week. 
I could be tomorrow. He doesn't, surely he, doesn't, you, he doesn't look at his watch. He doesn't have a watch. You waited this long. Surely you can wait a week. Mm. Unless my, my benefactor mm-hmm. prefers to get bad news as quickly as possible. Uh, can you send the while well, they set a stage? You said the equivalent of coordinates. Like they can they can tell us how far you need, we you need can a chart. To get you need like down. a like a like a navigational chart, right? That says mm-hmm. here's how to here's how to, here's how to get a boat from point A to point B. And they said Except, they're going to supply us with that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. They'll get you one of those. Uh, can you supply? He us doesn't even that really so know what you're talking about. Yeah. He's like, I assume that if I repeat the gobbledygook you're telling me mm-hmm. to our wizards, that they will they will be able to go conjure up the thing that you need. Okay. Well, we need that like, so we can investigate. Yep. Okay. The job. Maybe where sure. it is and. Yeah. Lots You'll have it tomorrow. All right. All he right. takes out an eyedropper and he puts a little. Yes. <clears throat> There's no water in his eyes. Um, maybe we should discuss uh, discuss in perhaps a little greater detail what you're willing to offer as far as payment. I was given the utmost authority to negotiate. <clears throat> well, uh, so. If you're going to, if you're going to match a bid from our other various handful, half a dozen offers that we've gotten since we arrived, uh, it's going to need to be in the range of ten, fifteen thousand gold. And anything else? Uh, I think we might. Be discussing some a magic greatsword knighthood <laughs> options. I mean, if you have magic greatswords laying around, we, <laughs> we're certainly in the market. I, uh, he expects that this mission you guys are going to get like you guys are going to keep whatever stuff you recover from the Underdark, uh, ex- except the crown, right? So that's probably going to be there's going to be some magic there. If you have if you have something specifically, he says we have a we, we have a deal with a local purveyor of um, rarities and antiquities, where depending on how specific your needs are, we may be able to provide them knighthoods. Um, we have a we have we've come nowhere <clears throat> excuse me we've come nowhere near fulfilling our quota for the year, uh, but that might require more favors, a, a stronger relationship, more trust. After uh... you realize that if you if you are these knighthoods would mean that you were in service to our right. to uh, our yeah. house. Mm. Yeah, we're the knights to them, so we'll have to be right. We may uh, require some provisions go to go into the underdark. Make a list. Can do. All right. <clears throat> the so the uh, serving. Uh, Swain, I think is what they're called, uh, brings this guy the drink that he ordered, and he starts drinking it, and there's like, like holes in his, and it, like some like dribbles out. <laughs> and he gets uh, back and, uh, and... <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of he, got, he drinks the ale, and he's like, <sighs> <laughs> this in the taste buds. <laughs> uh. I wonder what this crown does. Yeah. He says he points to the ale and he says it's purely a habit at this point. Understandable. You sure it has something to do with the prince? Anyway. Oh. Oh yeah, we've we've got your card. Uh yeah. Angel's like, was I right about this guy or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have done a bang up job, my friend. <laughs> How do you feel about fighting mind flares again? <laughs> <laughs> He's I'll like, kill them all. <laughs> what that's what the skinny guy said. Have we left the tavern at this point? It's up to you. I assume you will at some point. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, I'm assuming that we're just chatting about it now outside of that guy's earshot. Yeah, yeah. That's where's uh, where's that mind flare mini? The one with the swords. <laughs> we're only going if we recruit that guy. Yeah. So you had your chance to recruit him. Yeah. Well, he didn't have those. If swords. You had a chance to re- to get out of here. To I want recruit. that one. <laughs> I want that one. Get these you want that. Guys he's like a pirate. Here. He's twin. like a mind player pirate. Look at him. Yeah, he's, he's pretty dope. Well, awesome. if we're going to the sunless he's pretty sea, dope. he's pretty dope. Yeah, his twin we brother's want, down. He's there. also dead. We fed him to the ship. 
No, no, no. That's not the one who's bed to the ship. There's that guy is down in the underdark. Mm. Looking for work. I will kill him. Oh, come on. We can recruit him. You guys, <laughs> uh, I assume you guys are going to head back to the Pharaoh's Dream. Yeah, on the way out. Yes. Judge is um, like, that guy is ancient in more ways than one. Commander. Just, uh, just speaking my mind, if I may. Uh, I think we go grab this Abbot's scroll, knock that out, 5,000 gold, while this guy's procuring Mm -hmm. our needs for heading to the Sunless Sea on a bit of a longer excursion. Bang, boom, two jobs out of the way, 20,000 gold, a little bit more reputation, and then probably... At that point, you're talking about incrementing the treasury die. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this dude, this revenant, like, he'll pay you enough to increment the treasury treasury die. You'll get to five. Yeah, 20,000. At six on the treasury die, you guys can buy, like, a castle. Thing is, this guy, this Oops. dead guy, is obviously a bit like a big fish, right? Mm-hmm. Looking yeah. to get a job done. But we don't know where he stands on anything. Yes, and he does have Who some pretty uh, yeah, knight, dated opinions. A, knight, about a knighthood from him, might not gender. Be I don't think we want a knighthood power. from him. Yeah. But very traditionally, real though, as, like, as boots is unique. We want the money, though. but we don't know if we get him this crown. What is that? That's what I should say because we don't know what side he's on. What that's going to do? My or, uh, traditionally real and noble. Yeah, like, normal real ones have, are actually. Very different ideas, but that's stuff. My mindset is we're going to have to work for a lot of people. Sure. Because we're going to need to, like, at the end of the day, we need to kind of band people together against but how is when going, Ajax gets here. How is sure. going down into the world below furthering us up above to be able to recruit more people for our cause and for and, and being able to talk with actual Ooh. living nobles who can like, help us out? Well, yes. So notoriety, 20. money. Is it the kind of notoriety that we want? Well, yeah. Where's the chain yeah. of Acheron? Yeah. Yeah, I not mean, the, not the chain of Akron. Like, yeah, but at the same time, like you know, we don't know. We're not, we don't know saying, we're, not we're not the chain of Akron. We're not the chain of Akron. No, no, no. I mean, I'm, I'd be the last to vouch for that. But we also no, no, no. don't want to further any of Ajax's right. schemes. And if this ties into that in some way, well, we look like fools. Yeah. <laughs> my my only concern here is that. Good point. Well said. Is that well, this guy presents the option of us continuing to work for him. What he means is that we will basically just become his dogs. Yeah. How you figure? Well, I mean, he he did mention that his superiors are not happy to be disappointed by rejection. I mean, you know, he's got this old school Rioan nobleman, you know, heir of superiority. He's better than everybody. So he's he's, not better than he's dead. But like, what kind of fucking arrogance does it take to be dead and just like keep on Running, running games and shadowy bars, you know. Yeah. I'm not saying I like the guy, but I've got the would money. be happy to take his money. Yeah, being vitality deficient gives one a tremendous clarity of mind. Where did he come from? <laughs> I don't know. Where from he out here. He's <laughs> like standing, he standing behind you. Tremendous <laughs> clarity of hearing as well. <laughs> He's a side. I, che- I enjoy cheating and sometimes chiming in as NPCs who couldn't possibly be there uh. and couldn't possibly be overhearing what you guys. You know what though? That, that's because it's kind of like like what we would picture them saying, right? Well, it's also it also imagines that the conversation you had with him was probably longer. And mm. you know, and had more detail than the one we actually just played out. Yeah. And so I do occasionally enjoy kind of giving you a flashback to if you had said that, what would his right. response have been? But you know, also I, I just enjoy cheating. And, <laughs> and when you guys think you're out of your shot, it's like a it's like a comic panel. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So he's in the Pharaoh's dream now. No. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> he will be if you give him a little while. Um, he's not allowed to be there. No. But if you're okay. in the Pharaoh's dream, the concierge has a message for you. I think also we've been here for two days. We've already got two job offers. One that seems pretty safe, pretty standard kind of stuff, albeit a bit, you know, small fry. Another one that I don't know if I feel like we're desperate enough to take, considering where it's going to bring us to and what that means for up here. What do you mean where it's going to bring us to? It's going to bring us to riches. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, thousand. It's a bigger job, but. Me, me as a player, I'm pretty fucking done with the world below. <laughs> yes, I guess. That's also we that's, that's we that. spent a long like, oh. time there, and it's like, fuck, not that again. I can see that. But this isn't <sighs> like, a, this isn't an epic level campaign. This yeah, but if you pull yeah. out that it's fucking just, Barbie doll too quick and slap it on job. the table. A it's, it's a crown. Definitely, it's an engraved rock. No, I, no, I yeah. agree. It's it's cool. The sun will see sounds cooler than... The fucking I love that there are people watching going, why did Lars just say, if you pull out that fucking Barbie doll? <laughs> they're like, what the <laughs> yeah. hell is he doing? Have you not shown that to people? I'm, there are, uh, there are probably people oh, yeah, watching that have no idea what okay. 
blip dole poop. Well, not only that, but like both of those ar artifacts could be like super powerful magic items that make whoever ends up with them like yeah. really powerful That's... in some way. Because the thing is, also, what's this fuck? Uh, Kenway. Kenway just got promoted, and Kenway has the shield of Dolrath and some other crap. And I bet that this crown is mm. something to further increase. Nicodemus him. has the shield. He did. No, Matt uh, off screened it to Nicodemus yeah. works for me now. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You were there. You were there when you like. Uh, so it was. So wasn't it sweet? Sweet. Mm -hmm. sweet. Wasn't it sweet red. and um, red? Yeah. That met with uh, Lady Serial. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't. He remember had. He had the. the uh, he had the shield of Arthas. Uh, uh, Nicodemus was there, uh -huh. but it was Kenway that was holding the shield. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, so I, for one, am not looking to get any more historical royal artifacts to give to random-ass people. That's just my two cents. My, that's my two copper on it. Mm. Wait, wait. So you're out for both of these jobs, or? I think the first one. I, I, what is the, uh, like, judge is going to be like, what is the, for, what is that? Both what of the jobs are just go and get a thing and give it to a guy yeah, and but, get paid a lot. One of but, them is paying us, like, five times as much. Business is business. But business is also personal. The business of capital at least, is business. At least the first job keeps us up here, right? The first job keeps us in capital. That's what I'm saying. We, no, we, like we, I said, I don't, I don't want to leave capital immediately. Mm -hmm. But it's a job that can't be tabled and not done immediately. We can always wait until the end of the week and see what other offers no, we no, get. I'm not saying jump on something right now. We got time. Mm -hmm. And we have other shit we got to do. We can't show up. There's a message waiting for you at the right dark at the uh, I almost said the dark dream at the. Well, uh, we'll just talk dream. about this at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> really, I can't stop you. But. <laughs> we'll do our own campaign diary with overcooked and <laughs> we'll do our own. switch. Oh. <laughs> all right, we I guess we the, meander back into the hotel, all yeah, arguing about our, uh, jobs. <laughs> uh, rabble, rabble, rabble. <laughs> The concierge points to one of the uh, restaurants and says, there's a gentleman waiting to speak to you. Hmm? We're eating a lot of fucking food today. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, at the bar. Right. Yeah. Bar food. All right. One beer, please. <laughs> one job, please. Sit down. There's a dude in the bar who is like uh, kind of obviously the one who's here to speak to you. Because mm -hmm. he's a, uh, an elf that is somewhat flamboyantly dressed. Are and he he's drinking, and when you walk in, he immediately recognizes you and stands and says, uh, my noble lords, and he bows, and he's got a cap. He's got a, a mm. quite elaborate hat in the Riohan style. He looks, he looks like a musketeer, and he bows, and he takes his hat off. Fine taste of hat. Uh, have you drank today? Not nearly enough. I don't drink. Around on the house, he says. Is it past noon? Uh, it's about noon. Okay. It's the way you look. Listen, skating the line. <clears throat> That's how alcohol alcoholism starts. Uh, there, uh, by the way, there are um, unusually, for in your experience, there are clocks in the Pharaoh's dream, hmm. but they're all like big and expensive, and uh, they're they're like I think they're yeah they're twelve hour clocks, and these are mechanisms that. Like they don't have in alloy, they don't have in black bottom. So this is one of the only places you would go to where people would refer to things like minutes mm -hmm. or anything anything that short a time span. Right. Mm -hmm. Like you guys are not used to that. You guys you guys don't have watches or anything. We're used like to Uvas. You're used to <laughs> you're used to like a turn, which is about twenty minutes, which is one turn of the moon. Mm -hmm. Anyway, just meaningless detail. My job. Uh, do I have the honor, this elf says, do I have the honor of addressing the senior officers of the chain of Akron? Yes. Why, well, yes, you do. I am the Honorable Persuvient Illithweth. Persuvient, as I believe how you pronounce it. I know how to spell that. Do you really? It's a real word. Yes, I looked up the same. Really? <laughs> the same sort of nomenclature research stuff that you did. What, what was the name again? Elithweth? Elithweth. Yeah, but what's the... That's not... It's his title. The uh, oh. per person is his title. Okay. I represent the Royal Heraldric Society. 
Interesting. Heraldric Society. Hmm. Heraldry. A heraldric device. Art direction. <laughs> we commissioned, we, uh, I perhaps foolishly described a piece of art in Strongholds and Followers as having a heraldic device over it. And without thinking about whether or not the artist would win that minute, what we got back was like a mechanism. <laughs> like, oh, like, like, like a trap. Like they they drew a trap. Oh. Yeah. And I was like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, I'm I'm stupid. Like, oh, why did I why did I use that? Why did I think why did I think my obscure nonsense would be a good oh good that's that's bad art direction. Don't use words that no one's ever heard of. Don't use words that no one's ever heard of in art direction. Uh <clears throat> So he he sits and the bar bartender brings you folks drinks, and he says one of our couriers was sent to the library at Argeo over on the Pellet. He was going to require a notarized copy of a government document, perfectly legal. He seems to have disappeared. <clears throat> and we were hoping you might be able to locate him. We fear something. Untoward may have happened. Mm. How long ago was this? Uh, two days ago. The loss of a courier is, of course, a tragedy, and of course, we would like him return. Moreover, we need that document. Mm-hmm. Well, we're not sitting foot in capital without the ability to carry our weapons with us. Uh, the pellet is an island. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> it's, a, it's, a, it's just a smaller island, and it's kind of lozenge shaped, and they call it the pellet. Who occupies the pellet? Um, uh, oh, you're new to the city. Yes, of course. I forget. Forgive me. Pardon me. It's my honor to explain to you the local political situation. Uh, and he just, he's currently like, there's, um, the pellet is, it's a, it's a, it's occupied. People live there. It's a, it's much smaller than the stays. And it's currently like basically a freehold. Like it used to be the prince's territory and he's dead. Hmm. So it's okay. like free for all. Well, it's it's there. It's like uh, what's like the line? Tartuga. It's no, 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 no. It's not that kind of. It's more like uh, the local governors will maintain authority, uh-huh. right? So like the prince is dead, but the infrastructure that he ran is kind of ticking along without him. Uh-huh. And uh, but like techni- technically, the the people who run that place have no legal authority to do so because hmm. the dude they get their power from, Estmart. Hmm. I see. What was on uh, this document? It was an agreement between uh, a former prince of capital and a knight, uh, Sir Felice Brunadetti. The agreement has the prince's seal on it. Hmm. Huh. The descendants the of Sir Felice... The deceased prince? Hmm? The deceased prince. Uh, an antecedent of his going back many generations. Okay. You said Bernadetti? Yes. Hmm. The descendants of Sir Felice would like to work the prince's device into their family crest, but... We have our standards. They must prove some legal ancestral connection. But this document would give them that. Mm. I see. It is, a, I, I'm sure, a very uh, m- m- obscure minor detail for noble soldiers such as yourself. But it would mean a great deal to House Bernadetti. I love legal texts. How much would it mean? Well, we are empowered to pay. Why do you? Why would somebody want to stop you from getting this document? We have no idea. A perfectly mundane piece of paper. Are there any enemies of the family that you believe might be responsible for this disappearance? I'm, I'm, I assure you that the, that Sir Felice is of the highest uh, noble birth. I'm certain of that, but certainly there are jealousies. Well, I mean, it's, it's difficult for anyone to live and work uh, in a city such as this without making enemies. It is, after all, the city of the great game. So just so I understand real quick, this is just a character. Uh, this is probably I regret asking you actually. Now that I've now that I've met sirs in person, you are far too impressive for a for a job such as this. I'm I'm sir I'm sure there are some cell swords in a local tavern we can hire. I apologize for bothering you. <clears throat> well, I mean, we, haven't said, we haven't said no. No apology is necessary. We just like to get all the details before putting ourselves at risk. Oh, little risk, I assure you. Mostly just uh, inquiring at a library. Well, I mean, risk of our reputation. Oh, mm-hmm. I see. Well, that's, that's of course I appreciate. It. Mm-hmm. And keep in mind, there's many members of the chain. Oh well, perhaps some of your uh, some of your rank and file could be sent to do the job. 
Side quest. Side quest. Yeah. Follower mission. Follower mission. Uh, yeah, that's possible, but we want some more details. So what? what well, I'm I'm somewhat at a loss. I'm not sure what more detail there is. It's uh, as I said, it's a it's a scroll about 300 years old. It has the prince's seal on it. It's a it's a legal document, perfectly mundane. Um, there are, I'm sure, thousands of them in the library. <clears throat> you've you've we, been, you've been you to libraries. Re- you want them to recover this particular one? Well, we sent a courier and he didn't return. We're sort of of the mind that perhaps uh, sending someone with a little more skill in the blade. Oh, I see. It's not right. that he lost the document. It's in the, the place over there. He went to get it. He disappeared. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Sir has the right of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not that he was holding it and lost it, and we have to track it down. Well, was, unfortunately, we are, the courier was lost. Oh, yeah, so he might have mm. been holding it on his way back and gotten something. I like honestly that. have no idea why anyone would want to risk life or limb over such a trivial item. Hmm. It's quite beyond me, I assure you. And uh, I'm sorry to, uh, I know you went over this, but uh, the, the house that is requested yes. this document... Yes, uh, yes. What House is Brunadetti? Brunadetti. Brun, Brunadetti. Brunadetti. Yes, a very old Rioan family, yes. Sadly fallen on uh, hard times in recent, in recent centuries. Do they still provide knighthoods? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that would be a matter of some delicacy. I could inquire. Hmm. Uh, that being said, like the, the, the Heraldric Society has a quota of knights that we have not fulfilled. Oh, the Heraldric Society. Yes. So for Bernadette, you said they've fallen on hard times. Does that mean this job doesn't pay that well? Well, um, it's, uh, I, it, I, again, it is, I, I feel somewhat as though I have overstepped my bounds. I, I think perhaps this job might be beneath such, such honorable and powerful soldiers, if I may say so, as you. You are obviously clearly very experienced and have traveled across many regions and many worlds. This is merely an, an island only a few miles away. Uh, well, we are, of course, uh, able to pay, but it would be commensurate with the risk, which, uh, um, frankly, we think is very little. Well, as we said, we have junior officers who mm. could use a little extra money. Let's be frank, though. How much money are we talking? Well, uh, I, I apologize. I'm not used to hiring cell swords. How much, how, much, how much would you charge? How much, how much for, say, one soldier, please? A single soldier? There's no way that we're going to just send one soldier, especially oh, if somebody's already disappeared. Uh, uh, two? <laughs> we would send four to five. Oh, well, it was, I, surely you know your business. I, I, <clears throat> I fear I'm somewhat out of my depth. Four to five junior officers? Okay. Usually half price of senior okay. officers? About 10,000? 10, 10,000, you think? Mm-hmm. His hat goes, <laughs> it flips over. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to put put it out there just to kind of see. I mean, so. But I mean, he looks like he looks like he's in a rough spot. So maybe we can put him. This guy actually looks like he's doing really well. So tell us, uh, tell us more about your society. Well, we are um, we are the we are empowered by the uh, prince of the hereditary power of the city. Now, now sadly lamented, um, but missed uh, in order to provide and research lineages for local nobles. Very old, very old society. One of the oldest, one of the oldest in capital. You do primarily research. Sounds pretty safe. Well, that sounds like a good organization to be partially in bed with. Especially as we have chronicles, so they might be interested in that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we should do it, even if we just give it to our junior officers. Let's cut them a deal. Five thousand. What's the best way to contact you? He tells you where the Royal Society's offices are. He would, probably wouldn't say offices; their building, their headquarters, uh, their, house, their manor house. It's on the it's on this island that you're on. This kind of job would states. normally be around five thousand, but we can uh, cut you a deal for future favors. Yeah, I mean for for such a for such a low risk operation, this might be something that, like, someone with this gentleman's kind of influence, it might be worth doing just to, you know, just to make that connection. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Just to get the knighthood? Would mm-hmm. you be able to offer a knighthood to all five of us? Well, it sounds like you can get in, get us in touch with people who who can. If the, if the Heraldric Society itself 
is looking to fill a quota. So wait, this is this is Tom asking a, asking a question. The herald the heraldic society are they like just their own like standalone organization within their guild? I assume capital. Um, are they allowed to like a particular house or how would how would Boots know that? Boots was right here. Would Boots know that they're fucking ancient? He used to live here. Yeah, but that was ten years ago, and he yeah, left. but you said this is one of the oldest organizations yeah, in capital. Yeah, but there are like there are old organizations in the real world that you who've lived in the real world your whole life have never heard of. Yeah, but I know the organizations in L.A. Do you? Yeah, name one. <laughs> See, you can't name one; you lose. I'm trying to think <laughs> of one you might have heard of. Uh, so, they're, like, so they're 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 a they're a private they're a private organization that. Uh, so, I'll go, so like Boots knows that there are several different um, heraldic societies in the city. Okay. Right. It's kind of like um, they make their living sort of inventing noble pasts for people that have come oh into a lot God. of money. It's like one of those websites where you look up your last name and it gives you like your crest and your family history and shit. It, it is. It is. However, like here in Rioja, they take that stuff like seriously. It's just as fake, mm. right? But they, it's important to these people, and these guys like the Royal Heraldic. So it's it's so he'll he'll say things like, "We're the Royal Heraldic Society. We're not the Heraldic Society of the of the Royal Prince." There, are, those people are those people are thieves. Like they has, there's like seven or eight of them, and they all have very tiny, very microscopically different. We're not the People's Liberation Front. We're the, we're the Liberation Front of the people. Right. Uh, and this is just the local one. And they splitter. They, but they definitely, um, like, they really do have a um, a charter from the prince. Yeah, but lots of people do, like a prince. So this, it sounds to me like this is something where, like, we could, like, we might be able to to leverage this guy to help us set up, like, kind of a a, a fake past type of thing for the chain to be able to operate hmm. in capital kind of independently maybe I do see how like we could use this to benefit us like I feel like there's definitely a way especially with the fact that the work that they do is to give legitimacy to people mm -hmm. to reopens <clears throat> so is that the yeah. idea of it is that these crests and stuff? I assure you I assure you sir that the uh the noble houses that we work for have all been properly vetted and all have legitimate claims mm -hmm. to uh, to their title. That's what I mean, just to prove it. Yes. Okay. You, sir, you, you almost certainly have some noble blood in you. Why, just look at the cut of your jaw and the arch of the eyebrow. Definitely a, definitely a man of noble blood. The full mustache, you. Yes. Yeah. No, peasant. I can see it as well. I'm yeah, also royal it. and like recognizes like. Like recognition. Yeah, it might yeah. be it might be high time to reclaim some of my. <laughs> I was slim. Royal what? Views. I was slim. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking of jobs in context of days. So like the the uh, mm -hmm. the first one we got in this one is probably like a day or two. Obviously, going into the underdark is going to be more yeah. fucking. Yeah. I mean, you guys have a ship that'll just get you there. Yeah. Yeah, but same thing Adventure. with this scroll Adventure. on an Adventure. island. Adventure. Don't worry. Right? We're probably going to do it. We want to do all the jobs. We want to make all the money, make all the contacts. Um, but I think, like you said, we can't, I mean. I, I'm liking this one just for, like, establishing a relationship with this dude. It's 11 o'clock, and uh, for my own sanity, the what I would like to get out of this is know what you guys are going to do next. So that, I, so that next week, when we get together to play, I will have the thing you chose to do ready. And you do that right now on stream? Well, I think no, we need, I no, do think well, we need to talk about it more. Could, I know what Slim's doing. What's Slim going to do? Slim's going to go check on the ship. Mm. Okay. Next week. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Phil's not around next week. Right. <laughs> right. So if they... On the yeah. ship. Oh, well then... So well. if you choose the Underdark, it may just be that Slim's piling the ship. Like, we, can't, so. we can't do the Underdark without Slim, but we can well, go knock out... Well, he'd be there. Out. I just wouldn't... Uh, yeah. Well, he'd just... We need your sword. Yeah. And your soul. <laughs> and your soul. <laughs> Uh, so for so, this, for this, um, th for this mission or whatever, uh, is this something that we can send the junior officers on? Or is how this... would you know that? Well, mm. I mean, it's, well, I guess we're asking, is this something risk. that we can do? 
He says it's low risk. It's on the pe- pellet, the which pellet. is which is like a residential area, basically. It it's a like. it's a smaller city. It's got its own district. Yeah, it's not like the Citadel, which is a fortress that's been abandoned and possibly Correct. haunted. Despite he, this dude is not. literally just asking you to get on a boat mm-hmm. and go to a check library. Check it out, right? Yeah, just check it just out. Go check a book out at the library. Mm-hmm. We could knock that out in like two hours. Yeah, yeah. this this we seems like we could do that. To, we could do that today. Yeah. Right now. Tonight, like tonight, real time on the stream. Let's go. Oh, yes, no problem. No Break problem. Those of you in Australia just waking up right now, welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on, Jerry. Where's your sense of adventure? Um, adventure. Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll decide what Let's we're do gonna it. do. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll get back to you at the beginning of the next stream. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's noon. Like you said, like you know. If I just do it today. Today. Can we can time. we start the stream here next week? Where else would we start? This is where all the cameras are. <laughs> <laughs> How many times are you going to do that one today? Like this fucking round three on that? <laughs> Go to Matthew Koval's Twitter and just watch his him post his conversations of the same joke. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I feel personally attacked. <clears throat> what do you mean? What do you mean when you say, "Can we start here next week"? What do you mean? Uh, We're at the bar, talking at the bar, and then we can take it. That way, we can go just straight on to the. I think I think we're bus. probably going to do this, but we, the yeah. players, need to discuss what we're going to do. So I just need time to get the. I, I I need time to get the content ready. Yeah, I'm saying so, we're, you're going to have it before the next stream. Is that well? But here's the thing. Let's imagine. Let's imagine that you say on. Wednesday morning next week. Hey, this is what we're gonna do. I'll be like, okay, I'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Need a week. No, I, okay. we'll have it to you by Friday. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Done. Okay. We're gonna go to a list tomorrow. <gasps> You're not. Are we gonna take the cameras with us so people get to see the? We're just gonna talk specifically about the jobs. Nothing we'll just else. Sit there and text each other on Twitter. <laughs> we gotta think of a better way to do it. I, I don't know, it. man. But we we gotta talk, and it's time for Jerry to go to sleep. Okay. So thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> uh, the uh, players are going to have a offline conversation. You know, pretty. Th- this is they're going to talk about what they want to do, which of these jobs they want to take, and hopefully by Friday, I will know, and then I'll be able to kind of throw some rails in front of the train so it doesn't <laughs> run into the dirt, and uh, and have an adventure, have the first part of an adventure. Phil will not be joining us next week. He will be making sure that the Somnium Tenebris uh, gets fed, taking it on a little cruise to to feed, or it could be. That he'll be piling it into the Underdark and just staying on the ship while these guys uh, go exploring. These creatures do not have the strength nor the will to go into the Underdark without me. Mm. <laughs> well, now that you say it that way, what we're going to do next week... <laughs> King is not here, so we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're, yeah. Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything we need to announce or talk about here at the end. Uh, potentially rebroadcast. Oh, we don't know. We're, we're, we're thinking about doing something where we do like a rebroadcast. So there's a lot. We, this stream just happening live again with chat, but for another time zone. So people who are in Australia or the oh. EU um, get to watch live uh, with other people in chat. But we don't know. We need to communicate. Probably it won't be until I do another running the game video where I can say, hey, we're going to do that. Because those people need to know it's happening. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it defeats the purpose of doing it. Um, so thanks for playing, everybody. I had a good time. I actually quite like, uh, probably it, you, it's indulgent of me, but I quite like playing these NPC, NPCs and and doing the stuff. So no combat no combat tonight, just meeting people and talking about stuff. But soon the chain of Acheron will be employed by somebody in Capital. Uh, and I want to thank everybody who's, anybody who's still watching. You are you're the hardcore fans. <laughs> and we appreciate that. And we appreciate our sponsor, you. Uh, <laughs> until next week, be seeing you. <laughs>